Let's well, let's start streaming already. We're already running enough late. Um, let's. I wanna try something. I wanna calibrate before I hop in game this time around. Right. And um, we're not pulling the overlay up though. So we're doing. We're just calibrating. We're not putting the hands down yet. We're just doing the calibration before we head in game. Okay, I'm still facing the wrong way. I, I don't know what broken with the software now. It's just weird. And I don't get it. Like, this should work, but like, it doesn't anymore, and like, it doesn't make sense. Why it has broken itself, but sure, let's just... Except this thing being flawed and like, not working correctly. Like, literally nothing has been changed, and it's decided to walk itself. Um, wait, where's my... Why have you been unable to capture... It's lost my... my... Thanks. Why do you... Why does everything... Fa my chat is here, but like my... Some of them I decided to just go, um... Be lost. Set contents. Here's the CVR dash. So, there she is. Isn't she beautiful? Uh, I mean, you can't see her, but like, sure, that solves that problem. Go back here. This is still broken. So, we calibrate, switch the controllers off. And then. Can I have my mouse, please? And go to camera. Select front. Maybe zoom the POV in a bit, and that should be as much as we're gonna get here. I still haven't fixed this. I mean, I wanted to do. I've been relatively productive yesterday, but like, relatively speaking. In the end, still wasn't. Any installment. Um, uh, how do you spell their stupid name, league name again? And at least I can connect with the same password as always. That streamlines the process. Two minutes left still on practice. D five HLF. As a provisional poll. With a sub 29 in GT2. Now that's fast. Right. So, I mean, most people are on, on track. Uh, well, most people are in the pits, that's what, what, what I was about to say. Um. Ah, the, the, the default setup still haven't been fixed on every other track. So they only updated an Orch Life setup. It's like, you know, you could have also fixed these over here as well. Do I have setups actually not for this car? Oh, no, I didn't save the setup when I drove it. Because I have test driven the car on this circuit specifically. So I have actually experience with it. Um, yes. Uh, I'm not min-maxing the wang. We are running one TC because I don't want to die. That's a first. <laughs> Maxing the caster. Reducing the toe on the rear a tad bit. Because I don't want to die. Uh, temperatures track 27 degrees. Uh, brake ducts I don't think I want to open really any more than I have already. So I think I have something to get out that's at least drivable. I need to also double check if my stream actually went public and not just private because I was experimenting with stuff earlier today. Max 
accidentally created like two public streams for a brief moment. Although they never went live before I switched them over to private. Uh, yeah, yeah, did some test streaming and tests with the with a bot I'm working on. Because I'm like, you know, it shouldn't be that hard to just you know get YouTube notifications into Discord for streams going live. It shouldn't be that hard, right? Right? Uh, just pain, Dio. Just pure pain, that one. Because so much stuff just doesn't work there. I mean, I should have probably dug more for GitHub to see uh, what other people have done to solve the same problem. I decided, you know, let's just try writing a bot, you know. I want perhaps other features as well, might as well just write a complete bot from scratch. Yeah, and, uh, well, I'm, I'm probably gonna, for the first version, have it run as a webhook, so it's at least easier. stuff. Why can I do a full end lap here right now? I mean, I did not get over the line before this timer was up. Huh? Now that's weird. I guess the game got very confused there. Because I definitely vo I got like one minute before the end of the session out. Alright. We had a 31 roughly, so we were not up to pace quite. That's not too surprising. I mean, 29 was about what I was getting in practice uh, when I last drove on this track, but it was a lot cooler. <laughs> you, you can say. Uh, zero three, zero three, zero three, and then let's just briefly double check YouTube. Yes, stream public. Okay, that's all good. Perfect. Then we can do more laps, shall we? Increase the toe on the front. The toe out. <laughs> um. All right. I think the rest of the setup works okay enough. Oh, ignition. Um, why does this sometimes happen with the Porsche? Where it's like. Where you just cause the car to stall out? Well, like, you, you press the start, you drive away, and the car then suddenly just stalls out. It's a really weird issue. Right, there's a car with, on the fast lap, right? I'm confused. Yeah, let's just get out of the way. There's not getting in the way of someone who might be on a fast lap or not. I don't know, I am just deciding to get out of the way before I cause issues. It's a playing it's playing blue flag, so we will respect blue flag. <laughs> Both of us just running wide there. I still need another championship to commit to after this championship ends because I'm 
Otherwise, they're running any um, anything in ACC anymore. I mean, even if I wanted to do V Trek, V Trek starts back up in May, so it's like. So I'm basically stuck till May without a competition. But you know, if V Trek moves back to its old time slot, I might just do it again. But if it doesn't, then I will likely just stay in. Okay, this guy's getting off the way, thank you. Well, I didn't have a good turn one either. And considering how few corners there are on the circuit, it might be viable to actually run no TC. And that's how deceptive these like shorter circuits are. If you have a certain corner you don't like on them, well, you're gonna suffer a lot. And it's not the shortest circuit in the game that still goes to Brands. I think Brands is the shortest still of a minute 20. It's rough, roughly also in that sense the same length as... Oh, what's it called? Um... Road Atlanta. One, in my opinion, the most overrated circuits in the world. Nah. I'm just not a big fan of it. Even though I've won there, even. But, like, it's just, like, don't gel, gel with it well. <laughs> Gambling with the track limits there. Still, no work very little. Way too early. That tire pressures are not good. Real tires completely overpressured. Need to break earlier still for this one. Still didn't. Got limits. I'm gonna turn to pits and put some lower pressure tires on. Nah, we're gonna fix that for the race. Wanna stay for qualifying on this set. All I need to do is te technically finish in front of the other Lucas and that ties the championship up. That's all I need. Although winning again would be nice because I would be literally able to continue my win streak from round two. It would have been also round one if I hadn't been taken out. Ah yes. <laughs> In being petty. Slow exit there. Oh, practice balls. Oh, yeah, Pfeiffer. Right, that was Pfeiffer who was on practice ball. But he hasn't put a time in yet. But I haven't gotten subbed when 30 yet either. So that's a bit of an issue. wait so long there before the cars just finish rotating. He really doesn't like that. Razek has closed up a lot there on his lap. Ah, oh, come on, shitbox. Oh, cars are refusing now to function. <laughs> yeah, it, it decided to drop all the lap pace I had in there completely out of it, complete on that lap.
And there goes all the places I had extra thrown into turn one. It's just a tad bit of a lack of grip with this car. Pfeiffer is staying in the pits and he's starting to run out of time to get out and do a lap. Guess he wants to start from the back. Oh, how much fucking pain this car is to get through these corners here. It is just refusing to do rotation. Yeah, I lost the tenth that I had there. Completely dropped out of it. Come on, shit box. Why are you not functioning now suddenly? Like, why are you pure understay in those corners? Last attempt at it. Still not a decent exit. It, it, it's just it refusing profoundly to do pace. Can remove a full PSI on the rear tires. Perhaps turn the TC off for that corner. Because the car is wasting their time. I'm hitting traction control. Just barely any gains. Like I'm fighting the car so much to just get turned. Turn you piece of fucking junk! Like why are you refusing to turn? Like why is this car all of a sudden not turning there anymore? Like it worked earlier, but like now it's suddenly no longer turning there. Like it's significantly slower than my first attempt. And invalidated again. Yeah, too fast exit even as well. So I would have invalidated the next lap as well. Ah, that was all. This car just refused profoundly suddenly. That's gonna be fun in the race to have a car that like profoundly refuses to corner. Really fun stuff. Can look forward to that one. Did I just get demoted? Uh I need a bit more fuel. 2.4 liters on that right now. It's the burn. No, we are still right now on four, but he hasn't come in now. Uh, finished, I guess, the lap yet. Uh, 35 minutes divided by 1.5. That's cured enough for nerf. Let's go with 26 laps, I guess, with 2.4 liters of burn. That's 62 liters. 62.4. And he had beaten me. Just. Can I continue modifying my setup, please? To maybe help the car to, you know, find some rotation <laughs> in those mid. Mid speed corners, but it's just profoundly going no on me and not turning at all. I, I just don't get it. The car is just completely uh, refusing to turn there. Just keeps push, push, push over the front axle and like not turning. Spike the rear end up a bit. Keep the rear wing angle the same. And we we'll increase the two out on the front. 
Give some extra turn in. But yeah, I could have easily beaten him if that one lap that I had, like, actually came together. But no, it, it, as soon as I hit um, the end of Sector 2, it just, as soon as I had the first left hand on the circuit, it just went like, no, and then immediately no again, and then the last two corners even more no. And then for the rest of the qualifying, it just refused to work then. Yeah, I have the, f <laughs> I have the fastest Sector 1 and Sector 2 by, like, miles over him. Right, like I'm four tenths faster than him in sector one. I'm a tenth faster in sector two than him. And then my sector three just refuses to function. Like I'm there yeah, four tenths. Like, well, I got a bit closer there on my fourth last lap. Um, that one had was well, like um a tenth down and like also another tenth down. It was not too bad the last sector, actually. But my middle sector actually got way worse. That lost, like, three tenths there. So that's where, like, a lot of time losses happened then. The car just decided to refuse. And we do have five on the race who, like, in practice, was faster. than both of us. That was Maserati. Although not that much. 29.8. Although that's half a second. Then again, the car... Profoundly refused to function. Come under me. They're in practice. So the temperatures are still roughly the same. That's all good. All the good stuff. Okay. Good. Fine. Uh. I'm having a very 2250 GTO in another world. Yep. Good luck, boys. Well, we're gonna need it. <laughs> we're gonna need it. I have an Audi here. He, he was the guy who challenged me at um, Bathurst. He was the guy, I think, pursuing me there. Although, I mean, challenge is a strong word. But he was there. He, he was definitely closer than a lot of others. And if I wasn't there, he would have won the race, handily. 30 seconds. So, uh, that doesn't sink in. He, he, he is way better, yeah, he probably considers himself. Um. <laughs> Although the general showing of this leak at Bathurst was abysmal. Considering it wasn't even raining there, right? Like, it was a dry Bathurst race. It, the people couldn't handle the track. Is hilarious in large parts to me. Apply the brakes, warm the brakes up. Get everything ready to run. How little power the crossbow has against my <laughs> my Porsche is just criminal. Like it doesn't matter that he qualified on Paul. I had him back before turn one even, and by turn two he was even overtaken by the Audi already. Now he does make a lot of his lap pace in the middle sector, but it's just that's pain still. The couch was too comfy. Oh, you, you snoozed. <laughs> oh, 
Alright. Seems for now Audi versus Porsche here. Snooze too hard. And you want to lay down for um, like 10 minutes so that you end up sleeping for the f 4 hours. I see. Okay, this Audi is actually fast. Should not joke around with this one. I mean, he lost up time in turn one. That's probably because he was got too close to me and got spooked. But like, he won't be spooked every time. Two hours more likely. Okay. Still, regularly after those, you wake up feeling like shit. That sucks. Like this, this is regularly that you never really wake up well rested. seems to be an actual threat here, so far at least. My car seems to be again woefully slow over a lap. Like it's... It's acceleration is making it an utter pain to race against, but... Over a lap is just not fast, <laughs> and I've, I've I've specifically tested the cars on the circuit, and like the Porsche was the slowest of the selection. It was back when the DLC released. Some release day shenanigans back in January, but I don't know if I actually tested the cars on release day or the day after. But like it, it, around that time, I tested them all. Around this circuit specifically, and noticed there was a decent discrepancy in pace between all of them. That um, the Merc was one one of the best overlap. That the KTM was like eh. The Merc and the Maserati were like the best, and like the Audi was eh. The KTM was eh, especially on the brakes, and then like the Porsche was just slow. Both of them. Both of them also lapping very identical times and having a very identical setup, so like I do believe they are basically identical. <laughs> yeah, I even improved this lap and it's like Oh god. He missed his breaking. That's also a thing, like, so many people just, like, whenever following me, nearly drive o fall over, trip over me. So it's been a complete theme with this championship. That I, like, completely didn't expect to be an issue. Obviously happened with, um, you know, our championship rival in P3. The other Lucas. <laughs> um, running in... In in Watkins Glen. Then it happened again at... You know, it ha happened again at Nürburgring with other drivers as well. Taking stabs at me and then crashing into me in the process. Catalonia is gonna be interesting because there's so many corners. I, I don't know how I've gonna like, do any well there. But the goal is um, to not have to care about that, because I'm le if I have done the math correctly, I'm leading the championship at 27 points right now over the other Lucas. So if he finishes behind me, I've tied up the championship already. That's basically it. I don't even have to win tonight.
Not being tied up. Bonk! <laughs> I haven't tried up tried out being the Rofe bunny. <laughs> uh ah, yeah, we look But no, I'm topping the championship and tying everyone else up. Ha 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 okay. I'm playing to you. The other one coming is completely unjustified. <laughs> you know, you tie up w women and other subs. <laughs> <laughs> Not for sexual ple uh, for sexual intercourse. No, but uh, is, but you, then you can actually head pet them. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's the end goal, that's the true end goal of everything. Sex? Nah, nah, we're not interested in that. Head pads, that, that's where it's at. They can't resist the head pads anymore. <laughs> when he's driving. <laughs> Mayhaps. <laughs> <laughs> All the other reasons some people top. <laughs> the you 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 don't the switch you you. You just become, you just act like a t top whenever it fits for your partner better. <laughs> I mean, that's technically the description for a switch, but like, yeah, yeah, I don't want to go deep anymore. I've, I've, I've already got into dangerous territories here enough, we have got to end this. <laughs> it's a wheel of an automobile. <laughs> yes, I'm using two tons of steel to assert dominance. <laughs> well, I mean, this is... This is more like 1.5, probably, I don't know how, how much this car weighs. GT3s are around 1.3 tons in metric tons. Don't care about the Americans. Screw the Imperial system. Well, Pfeiffer has gotten up to uh, P3. He was the fastest guy in practice. He didn't qualify. I think my dominance will likely end very soon. Come along, directly ban you. <sighs> But yeah, he he's he's new, I think, to the championship. Five up. Okay, that that was off the road, and he's struggling. He I saw. Yeah, he still has the stop go thirty. Turned. Like how long I have to wait for the car to actually turn here in these corners is. Like, I just have to wait, and wait, and wait, and then it finally just finishes actually turning there. Like, I lose so much time with those corners, it's it's so real. Like, it, the car just doesn't want to do them any faster. And here I get a slide, okay. Which isn't great, but like, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. But like, the, 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 the inability to turn in some of the corners is way worse. Ah, uh, although I'm debating being stupid. And the you can you need an extra time for the 24 hours. Let me finish reading it before I say something. Um, and I kind of want to know not. Uh, I just don't want to. 10 or 4 DLC right this second. Okay, you're, you're not offering me a seat. <laughs> because then you would have become the second person to offer me a seat for that event. 
<laughs> you would be become the second person literally to do that, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to do an LFM event. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I do have already Jordan. I don't need more, more, more people to lose all the positions I gained. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Jordan has done at some point in time actually reasonably well. Hopefully. As I have said before, his main issue is that he just spirals badly. As soon as he makes one mistake, he makes a second one, and it just... He just adds them really quickly and just spirals completely out of control. When he doesn't make mistakes, he's fine. <laughs> but as soon as he makes one, he like loses all the positions. <laughs> For telling me nothing. What do you mean telling you nothing? Did they forget to tell you that it's on LFM? <laughs> oh god, Fife has actually gotten past um, the other Lucas as well. Oh boy, this is gonna get fun now. <laughs> because the fun part is for me that my Porsche is refusing to do pace. Like, he sees a corner, it just loses all lap speed. Oh, Fife has just thrown it off the road a bit. Not majorly, but like, uh, he, he just lost the position again. Like, I have to just wait in these corners. Luckily, this means for the... For at least passing me that, like... You know, they can't really pass me in those two corners. I might lose all the lap speed, and there's ten some, but like... <laughs> you know, they just have to sit behind me and just wait. I'm done cornering now. Like me. <laughs> I have to also wait for my other to just be done finally with those corners. <laughs> well, yeah, I didn't think I want to do the 24 hour race this weekend. I mean, the LFM license isn't that hard. Like, the thing is, I did the LFM license, I don't know how long ago. It was at the time the current circuit snettered in. And they had the requirement that you needed to be under 105% from the alien time. Which was bonkers already. I mean, today the, the alien time was even worse, but like, the alien time at the time was already pretty bad. I mean, I I was able to still clear this with the Bentley on, I think, my first try, basically. But it is Snetterton, it is a relatively difficult circuit, and I didn't have that much margin. <laughs> but someone who, you know, isn't quite as fast as me would have, like... I, I've definitely heard of someone who spent, like, a month basically grinding on just getting the LFM license. Right. But it's not, like, impossibly difficult. Also, I don't know if you actually need to be out of rookies to do the actual event. Or if you even need the LFM license for, for that matter. Because you would need to grind 10 um, races in the rookie ranks to... Or GT4s or M2 Cup, I think, work both also. You can run all of these um, as a rookie license driver. To actually have a high enough rank so that's boring I should know it I'm local <laughs> oh yes I mean Snetterton is mainly like there's a lot of corners that can just really f screw you over with there's a lot of high curbs there's a lot of very tricky corners that like you you can just very easily be screwed over with and have your run in it or if not run ended, um, you lose a lot of time because you drive them a lot slower. That can cause easy issues. The current track is Paul Ricard, so I mean, uh, I guess for doing a five lap stint there isn't fun. 
because you know it's part of a card. But like, and it easily get validation from running wide. But like, I guess this isn't too bad. You know, in some ways, poor Ricard isn't too bad with track limits. If you know what you're doing. The issue is knowing what you're doing. On the other hand, getting lost on that circuit is very easy because... Well, everything looks blue! <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's just meh. I mean, how much has the circuit actually changed over the past few decades? I don't think that much. I don't know, I've not been local. It's a charity event. Um, the, it, it gets... So it's not the LFM event this weekend? Because LFM definitely is hosting events this weekend. I, I do know that. Um, it could be that there are more communities hosting uh, events. Pfeiffer's making a lot of mistakes. He's back behind Lucas again. Uh, that's... Fun. I mean, it's useful for me. I uh, keep being left alone here, I'm gonna just continue to burning a lapse. But yeah, I mean, still, you should. The thing is, Greg, for example, he got caught out. Horse on charity inventor. <laughs> with. I don't know with whom we were racing. Uh, with which community we were racing. Was it boxed? I don't know. Box cube, something like that. Maybe. I'm not too sure who we were racing with. Um, when we, uh, it was um, Jordan, Chris, Greg, and me running there. And uh, Jordan had his stints where he. In the beginning was fine and then uh, started to spiral badly. And then later on, um, we we gave Greg very briefly the car, and he had severe issues because he didn't have a racing line. He just couldn't drive the track without a racing line, effectively, because the um, the server enforced no racing line, and he had noticed that before the race. Which caused him severe issues because he was suddenly. The creek without a paddle. I mean, in my entire uh, spiraling out of <laughs> my completely sp losing my mind at Imola phase, I did consider actually putting a racing line on myself. I mean, sort of, considering Kiyahara was is and also is still kind of a faster driver than me, and he runs with racing line. Not that like makes you to think. I've historically always run without one. But would I actually gain anything from running one? I mean I do run my lines as usual. Like it's intuitive for me to figure out where I need to place my car. Well this is also to some extent that like I can look at the hot lab video and be like, um yeah, I... let's look, how does my replay compare? And it's like, where is the difference? I can't see any. Because, oh yeah, pay attention on your replay to see that you're using all the track with me looking at my replay. And for example, Bathurst and seeing that like, yeah, if I go two pixels further to the, uh, further to the left, I'm actually touching the grass. <laughs> Like, I was braking for turn one at Bathurst, so close to the edge of the track that, like, that's a difference between pixels before I actually drive into the grass. And the lines were, like, so identical, but, like, I was still losing, like, a second over the lap. And it's just like, where? Why? And, like, I, I would need to do deeper telemetry looks, but, like, I think the, the reason relatively simple is that they just have more grip than me. They can just drive into corners and their car will continue sticking. And mine won't. <laughs> I slow down more, I drive very much very similar lines. But my car will not stick <laughs> at the same, same lines. 
Is it the setup? Is it my driving? I mean, I have had this issue before. When I was driving R Factor 2 still. At the end of my R Factor 2 career, where I was. Driving with... Loic, and like, Loic was over a second faster than me, and compare sending my Motec file to him, and like, looking at it, and it's like, I have significantly faster exit speeds out of corners than him. But it's not making up for what I lose into and through the corner. Like, I'm just... And I'm like, I can't drive any faster into cops than this. Like, the car is just about sticking on the road there. But he drives way faster in there than me. And it's like, huh? What is the logic behind it? I don't get it. So this issue has been persistent for me for a while. I compete against people where, like, I, I am genuinely left with the feeling that they have grand flags because they can do things that I can't, but I'm pretty sure they don't use them. For the most part. <laughs> At least those that are, like, within a second of me, I don't think they are. But it, like, sometimes looks like they are doing that. <laughs> Okay, apparently they have their fourth driver. So they haven't just found a replacement for you, but also found another one. <laughs> because um, you did only mention Greg and uh, Yuki. Or was it Greg and Yuki? I think you mentioned. So they wouldn't both need to find another two drivers. I need to reply back to Lo uh, not Loic, sorry, Loic is no longer the Irish manager. The other one, Torn! God damn it, how <laughs> did I forget that name? Until I'm like, no, I'm not really interested in doing LFM. Not particularly this weekend, I'm... I'm sort of busy on Sunday with um, my mother's birthday and then... Not really interested. I'm not really interested in just going up against tryhards in LFM. Let's just be real. I don't like LFM tryhards. It's just not fun. Cody and Yuki. Ah. Those two. Okay. I mean, keeping Oversight of Who's in UK is at times difficult. <laughs> I mean, they, they, they got the Italian expansion now. Oh Jesus, I've just realized I've, I, um, my competitor's down to half a second. Lucas, pay attention to what is happening. I mean, I'm not going to be driving that slow. But he's apparently suddenly decided to, like, to just pick up the pace all of a sudden. Not priority, okay. I mean, for Nords, having a fifth is probably nice. But it's mainly all dependent on, like, having an actually decent race schedule and not having someone for seven hours in the car. I unfortunately forced someone to drive seven hours in the car <laughs> once. <laughs> because I expected to be awoken earlier. And I wasn't. Breakfast and, like, completely miscalculated due to that. So that caused some issues. And also, we had lost early on the race our third driver. Because telling him, trying to advise him how to drive, did just utterly not work for him. Like, he was doing terribly, and I was, like, trying to help him. And he just utterly lost it when I told him, like, you can break a bit later for the pit entry. He just was like, no, fuck you, I'm going... Gone now. Just abandoned. Two of us. Of the race. How much regret dancing this guy has? Like, he lost so much ground there, just did like. I mean, it would be interesting to have multi class in the 24, but my plan for Nurburgring, for Nordsch Life specifically, is I want to sign up for the Checkered Flag Endurance series. 
which I mean it has been going on for f they have already completed three rounds but like I didn't get any drivers in our area so like I never signed up for the thing but now I have drivers <laughs> so we're gonna actually do this Move team, uh, we've heard team Iris. Um, the question is still what car we're gonna bring for that event. And they did actually open up the signups for different car classes. I don't quite get why, because um, they've had GT2 the entire time basically available, and no one has signed up for GT2. There's only 38 to GT3 cars. And I'm not expecting anyone else to sign up, because despite that their calendar is basically Nordschleife, 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 with neck next week, not this weekend, the weekend after that, being a 12-hour race at Nordschleife, which is the main target right now. Wanna sign up before that? Run that one. Then they have an 8-hour race which, which can in May, which can be a Nordschleife race or a Laguna Seca. Sort of hoping Laguna Seca to just have a pellet cleanser. And then um, a 24-hour race in June, which is like, that's kind of why I want to be in there. Also, the 12 hour race is split into two four hour, uh, 6 hour races, so that's kind of fun. It's a bit something different. Or well, two days. Oh, course 24 and I racing, I'm just finding the F. Such a fun shoulder, just. <laughs> That's sort of my plans. I mean, there's other series actually running. There's um, GRT offering an entire endurance championship. But like, I'm, I don't know if I can, can commit and I can have the drivers for it. Great, awesome. You now right behind me. That's fun. But there's two cows behind me, so they can sort of busy themselves. Each other, six minutes remaining on the clock. And with the lap times I'm doing, I don't know, I don't f think we can tie it up in four laps. We will probably have five, but it's gonna be really tied. <laughs> With GTP, P2, GTD, so it's fun, good fun. I mean, I mean, it's Le Mans. I, I'm not a big fan of Le Mans as a circuit. But then again, I've, I've had the displeasure of actually competing against aliens on that circuit, so it's like, which make driving that circuit really not fun. Also had the fun of attending events which had not particularly large grids, which make the event also not too fun. Le Mans is just... Like, it's... It's just a really big circuit that was like really awkward to practice on because it's like... There's only very... There's only about as many corners as on a normal circuit that you actually need to care about. But... To practice them all, you're gonna have to waste an eternity driving down those straightaways before you actually arrive at the corner you want to practice. It, that, that's just annoying with Lamar. I guess in R Factor 2, you could have technically done. Um, could have fast forwarded on the straightaways in single player. That would have actually worked! <laughs> Although not accurate and probably better to just drive them regularly. Just touchy. But no, he did, he got close, but not quite. I mean, it's a, it's been in the past few races an issue where people hit me from behind. Because the Porsche just seems to slow down more than the others expect. 
Because, you know, cornering not much of this Fukar's strong suit. Acceleration, yes, much. Much love for acceleration, but like... Cornering, especially these... F these four corners here towards the end of the lap are just... Pain. <laughs> Start-stop? Uh, is also not great, because... I I didn't get to read the full message, but when I read AI and Hitler in the same sentence, like, I already know that like, this is gonna get fucking unhinged. Listen to a video of AI that made Hitler singly joined. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that's it. And that's... That's that's just straight up takeout again. Yeah, that's that's me taken out of the lead again. By the same guy. Like come on dude. Like come on. I lead the entire race and he takes me out like fucking week one. Again. Like the this shit is just I'm tired at that point. Like I would've I would have literally won every single race in this championship if he hadn't taken me out twice in this championship. <laughs> Although, you know, technically I was also gifted one win because he started out of pit lane at Suzuka and he probably would have won at Suzuka if he didn't. But technically he was, uh, wasn't also forced to start off the pit lane. It would have been fine if he started from the back of the grid. And then he would have also won. So, you know, we're gonna do this again. I don't mind being hit if I don't lose all the positions, but, like, this gets just fucking tiring. Like, bruh, you, it just was never on. <laughs> and the thing is, last time he actually gained more p points than me. He led the championship out of round one despite getting a penalty, penalty points. Which is also hilarious of a fun fact. But you know, I can still win the championship easily. I'm coming into this round with 27 points in hand. Right now, as we are running here, he gets 18, the car behind gets 15, and I get 12. Because it's F1 points. So I will lose uh, 6 points. But this is still more than enough to just tie up the championship next round. But I'm still gonna just be like, bruh. Like... We've been here before. Like, how how can you just not fucking figure this out to not drive into the back of me? Like, the Porsche is just slow in corners. It just is so fucking slow. If you want to dive bomb me, then dive bomb me. Don't fucking drive into the back of me. On repeat. I mean, in this case, he drove... Although, he did try actually dive bombing last time, and like, he did it so late that like, he ended up crashing into me. He dive bombed me on lap 2 at Nürburgring, and that ruined his race in the process. It's like, come on, bruh. Oh, he's at least waiting, I guess, for me. What is he? No, 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 he isn't. Who was that? That was Pfeiffer! That was... Hold on, what happened here? Pfeiffer waited on me! Not the guy who actually took me out! What, what just happened there? Hold on, what just happened there? Yeah, Pfeiffer... F f um, f no, Pfeiffer isn't even finished at all! Hold on, what happened there? Did he run out of fuel? No, he has fuel. He has engine and everything. What is he doing? Okay, that f uh, moved the championship against my favor because even though I gained, you know, two position in a position, that means the point gap got increased because I only get 15, although that's still 20 points only. Come on, bro. Double check. Well, when was the lap that I got hit? I think this one. And just on the apex into the rear end. 
Just, bruh. Bruh, for why? Why even bother? I oh, wouldn't want this. Time to garage. That was... Yes, that's the one. Oh, he's parked here. You know, just... Did two people just run out of fuel there? It's gonna push him. We're gonna see a cars. Leak admins when see it like that. Going to pass. I mean, they did last time actually see it my way and uh, assigned him a penalty, but it was only five points, so it's just like. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he really struggles to just race clean. I'm, I'm gonna write a report into their Discord and just leave it at that. I'm not gonna rage at them, I'm not gonna do anything, because even with this incident, I'm still gonna win the championship. I'm not able to tie it up, because I would have tied it up actually if I won the race, right? Which, that's, that's annoying that, like, that happens. Because I would have won the championship, basically, on this road. Okay, um... So round five. Maybe I'll just write the report up and then leave that. That's um. He has uh, thanks Pfeiffer. Uh, see you next week. I think he hasn't said anything. I think it's very clear that like this is just. It's not gonna end well for him and like. Um So we're gonna briefly slant We're just falling it. But we're not doing anything else special, so it's four four To just drive correctly is which lap was I actually taking out? So can... Beginning of the next lap. Uh... All right. Have you tried the Notch Life in ACC yet? I'm um, sorry, that I've just. Realize that comment. Um, yes, I have raced the Nordschleife literally on Monday. The the, the word is on my channel. <laughs> it is there. <laughs> A Nordschleife word immediately. It was my previous stream. You might have not seen the stream, but like it's it's there. <laughs> I I've, I've done a stream on the Nordschleife, so I have tried it before. This is... Did I write last time down the timestamps? Yes, I did write down the timestamps. Perfect, okay, so, um... Yeah. 
So this is root 54 and lab, which lab are we on now? And then I constantly have to move between the screens. Um, which lab is it? This is lab 22 now. Um, is so we, we we don't say anything else. I just say lap twenty two, turn one, thirty four minutes, thirty five seconds. Bump and run, I lose three positions. Nothing else. I'm well, not saying that I would have won actually, you know, uh, the championship if he uh, actually hadn't run me over. No, we're not saying that. We're just saying the incident, the, the race, the incident. And that's it. We're not doing anything else. I should. I'm in a position in this championship where, like, I could honestly live without him getting a penalty, but Christ almighty, I'm really tired of getting run over every single race. Like, the Porsche is fucking slow over a lap, yes. It, it is genuinely terrible over a lap. The, the pace of this thing is fucking miserable, right? It, it might be fast and difficult to actually overtake, but, like, no one has actually even gotten fucking close to do it. Well, one person got close. One. <laughs> one person got, I think, close over the entire time to actually overtaking me on that circuit. It's like, yeah, yeah that's the chief and laugh. Right. I wanted to ask another Discord for something. Um... Related to an uh, auto life, I wanted to ask these guys, the chicken clock guys, about uh, you know, the fact that, like, Right, it's easier to just grab their link if I want to open their sign up page.
So where is the channel again? English chat. Hiccup and GT4. I mean, I should open my chat in case someone's writing. No, nobody's writing right now. Good. Uh, even as someone is. Uh
anything that isn't GT3. Uh, yes, so. Right, so, um, shall we do some North Shaven practice or something? I thought that, that sounds like a decent idea. Uh, get some experience in. Yes. The thing is, I still have only Team Iris over this. For this guy, well. I guess I can use the white car. I kind of like the design. Like, dude, this color swap, I... I like my bright liveries. I mean, this is still relatively bright. And this design is, like, really fucking cool. I, I, I love it. It's, it's, it's relatively old at this point, this design. <laughs> like, it was made for the original 720S. And used on it. And then upgraded onto the 720S Evo. Because you needed to slightly change the lines on the front bodywork. Because that didn't align. And I added the rear bumper in with a carbon fiber texture because that would not, for default, that would um, actually get painted. On the 720S, um, the temp um, if you have a color underneath the car, so if we could just quickly go add, let me just showcase what I mean. Um, 720S Evo, you see the rear bumper here gets with the default template here of color and painted. But if you swap to the 720S, non-evil, this section gets not painted. You can paint it in the template, um, but if you just make this area transparent in the template, in the 720S, um, non-evil, this section would then just be carbon fiber, obviously. But in the 720S, evil, it would get painted. And I preferred the carbon fiber, so that, that's why we ended up in the version that we have, actually. Which we're sort of disguising the car because this is one of the features that you can detect the same when it's evil or non evil. And one of the interesting things. Uh, but yeah, we, I think I still have also the. Do I have it? No, I don't. I have a no, new motion racing livery for the car. It has less dive planes, I think, than non evo. It's one of the things that you can notice it by. But otherwise, they're relatively difficult to actually tell apart. The evil and non evos And also the um, evil has endurance lighting, which the non evo lacks. You do get high beams, but like you don't get um, dedicated light ports. Which the, for example, the, the 650S does have in the front. But the 650S is also hot garbage as a car. I've driven it, it is very much hot garbage. <laughs> this is a non evo Huracan. Here's an NSX, one of the few NSXs I have. Do I actually have Team Ivers logos on this thing at all? 
You know, I, I, I don't know. Maybe on the roof? No, on the roof is, is, is an old doku, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, I, I don't know if I have any Iris logos on the graph because it is named Team Iris Doki Bird. And we have a Team Iris Pomu. I think I didn't add any. Funny thing is, this is actually under National, which if I'm. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm in single player. If I go into multiplayer, it would actually show that this is the National um, number plate on it. Which is a funny quirk. Um, it's a Pan and Formula car. Jesus, that looks cool as a lag spike. Probably doesn't have its livery compiled. Uh, did my game just crash? Oh, it, it just took ages to compile the livery. Uh, why do people something? Oh, yeah, right. It would obviously take ages because I've never selected the car. Team Halloween. Maybe that was a car that raced in that one Halloween event I did. For which I made. Uh, no, 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 we, we don't want that. Uh, for which I made this uh, Bentley here. This wood Bentley. <laughs> this is about now. I think of work. Just just throwing the texture quickly to get a few lines drawn onto it, and then the texture just wholesale applied to the car, with like some slight tweaks to make it flow in some areas a bit better. But yeah, unfortunately, this is connected with um, a bit worse of an event, right? Welcome back, I've been going a bit of a livery, this is uh, nothing honestly special. This is however one of the liveries I've made that I really like. I've been throwing around that I'm gonna do some Nordschleife practice. I, I don't know if you heard this at the end of the um, end of the race when I uh, mentioned that like, hey, I, I have done literally a stream the other, uh, on Monday doing a race there. Um, and I've been like considering right now doing practice. I've reported my incident. They're gonna get around to looking at it at some point. Oh yeah, there's also... There's... There's the Asa Team Iris car. I see. <laughs> that one exists. There's another Team Iris and there's no... Uh, and then there's also the Asa just juiced... Non-associated with Team Iris car. Uh, there's the V12. Sorry, ah, okay. But yeah, I've answered the question then. Uh, I have definitely tried the North Lever did a race there with the 935. Um, I've done also like two laps with the Mercedes. Um, this one, Mercedes AMG Evo. Uh, I've done, uh, I've tried doing a lap with the McLaren, which is the car that we kind of want to do for um, the event. But like, uh, well, we've, well, we haven't gotten ready to it. Right. I could perhaps look into like doing a busy practice on a public server, but like I, I I'm gonna just go offline. Right? The Nordschleife is um, gonna be a pain in the ass to practice on, on anyway. So um, we're gonna just load like this onto it. I've selected 4 a.m. though, so this is gonna be a bit fun. We're just before sunrise, effectively. Right. And about 5 a.m. the sun starts peeking over the horizon, so... We may be driving long enough, maybe, maybe not, we have to see. I did try loading my Nürburgring setup, but like, that didn't quite work well, so we're actually gonna try the uh, aggressive preset. Full fuel tank, and, um, pad type 2, because anything else is like really stupid. Uh, on this circuit at least, because the intention is to do endurance. We're gonna run full cast as usual, and max that shit. Uh, I think we're gonna keep some tow, maybe? Gonna half min max the setup a bit. Max that out, no front arrow. Although maybe you need that, because there, there are some crests on the circuit, but here's this. And I did notice the car getting a light over the crest, so it's like, huh, maybe, maybe you do need the, the, the arrow. Also, it's relatively cold right now. Let's close the brake ducts up. <laughs> um, suspension ranges, we're gonna leave those mainly normal. These settings here look fine. We're gonna try this. Also, the fact that you have still three laps to turn the headlights on on the Nordschleife. 
It's like, yes! <laughs> yeah, sure, that, that, that's like a good idea. Oh god, the TC is firing a lot. You can see they're chatting. Uh. Well, yeah, should I take the shortcut? To short a bit the outlap, or should I just drive and not care about the lap time? I mean, technically, you do lose about a second or two due to doing the shortcut. The shortcut is slower, quite a bit. Is that like about one to two seconds is the round where you're operating with the shortcut. Push the switch left or slow around. I mean, we do have it in AC. But driving AC with period correct cars on that circuit is. at night an absolute nightmare. <laughs> I can tell you that. There was a, a Porsche 912 road car, just. the headlights do not go anywhere. <laughs> you see jack shit in front of you. I mean, the switch life is kind of cool, but like, it's... It is honestly, like, not that great of a circuit, let's be real. But, you know, if you consider, maybe if it got... If you compare with the 1960s version of the suit, Norch life, even to the modern one. Like, yeah, you can see the, the parts of the layouts that are staying around, but like... Obviously, you don't have the hedges right next to the track, which is like... That was a fun feature. You want to die of death? Well... There you go. But I mean, they didn't even use the suit life really that much. The combined circuit was very rarely used. The fun used just the launch life. see in this section here. It's not quite as extreme as in real life but like this. The game definitely attempts to capture the vibe here. The car's clearly trying to negotiate the bumps. Yeah, aliens are doing 8 minute O2s already, like, it's it's an arms race to get sub 8 minutes, and it's more like a question of, what will they do it this week or next week? Than anything else. Oh, Jesus Christ! Do you understand that? Holy fuck! Like, yeah, I'm used to GT, um, R Factor 2 cars that actually have, you know, downforce through that section that actually turn, and you don't have to, like, Jesus, how much lift the car produces there with that crest. That's why I, like, kept the front splitter on two, even though um, nobody uses front splitter in ACC. It's just... I kept it because the car needs to somehow glue itself back to the ground. I'm 
but refusing that to negotiate. Funny thing is, the GT2s are kind of like about as fast as the GT3s around the circuit. Like, there was a complete podium lockout on Monday with GT2 cars. Well, I'm not too sure if, like, this, the grid quality just wasn't good enough. Because clearly you can go faster with the GT3s, it's just... I think for easy speed the GT2s are faster. Like the and also the aliens I think haven't quite bothered as much with the GT2s yet to min-max them. I'm probably one of the fastest GT2 drivers Mr. Gid right now. Because he drove with a because he drove with a um, K Team Crossbow and he was just really damn fast on that thing. Like his car was just glued to the ground. Yeah, it was really impressive. Let's see, considering we have a lot of understeer and high speed, it's gonna be fun. But on the other hand, the runoff area has been extended a lot there in recent years. In Moodcover 2, it was also not too bad. That was a bit more sketchy with the Porsche. Moodcover 2. Now for the carousel with this car, that's gonna be more sketchy than with the. No, it's fine. It feels really nice to drive. Yum. <laughs> but yeah, you can definitely break late later for uh, mood curve and then that. But like again, like how much time I'm actually losing in that spot. I mean, I, I would like to get down to 8 minute 20s. <laughs> oh fuck. And there goes my lap completely. Because I just did stupid and like fucking threw the car into the wall. I usually get around the circuit fine. <laughs> You want to use a s oh a stream deck? I was like, huh, using a Steam deck as a bot box. Like, I mean, I guess that works. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so short of one hundred. Can't you just you know use a USB extension? And also, like, what cable does this take? Like, is it this? Doesn't this just plug into with micro USB? Like, it isn't the stream deck effectively its own? Does the Stream Deck have a separatable cable, or is the cable built into the thing and it's just a USB? But it's probably a USB 2 cable, so like you should relatively easily get extendable for that one. USB 2 is relatively easy extendable. I have actually some laying around. I'm using a 2 meter USB extender um, at my bed to extend my charging cable out. Ah, USB-C. I mean, you getting USB-C cables is like really easy. Let's just get the longer one. And I think it's also probably USB 2 speed here still. Like, I mean, it's just a stream deck. It's like it's not. It doesn't need that much compute. Right. Uh. Oh, yeah, it's, it's. It's a bit fun with the, uh, you know. High speed cornering on the circuit. Because I, I would like the car to not. Understeer as crazy. Or in high speed sections, it, it struggles a lot to turn. So we're gonna go slightly against the meta and reduce the rear wing. I'm um, in MK1, okay. That's it. But I mean, you, you probably can still then, you know, just use a USB extender. I don't know how much they cost. I, I have a few laying around. Like, my shifter, for example, is also connected with one. 
Even though I think it doesn't even need one. Or, you know, just plug it into a USB hub. <laughs> Use a USB hub as the extender. Big funk. <laughs> Extension call. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, what else are left than options? Um, but it's still a lot cheaper probably than buying a stream deck. <sighs> How much length do you need? It's like, I mean, depends on what USB hub you're using. I, I have also like one small one that like that doesn't get like any reach at all. I, I have used that. I have used that one actually in the past when I was streaming Half Life Alex and just plugging that one into the faceplate of my VR headset and then. Because the index has a USB port in the front. And then plugging two ch um, cables into Chalk my controllers while playing. Unfortunately, the last time I did this, um, it was creating a flaky connection between my controllers and the. There was somewhere a flaky connection due to this USB hub and it decided to just constantly freeze up the game and that caused me to actually get caught by Jeff and killed. Which usually Jeff is not that much of an issue in this game. Especially if you're not playing it the first time. Like he's spooky, don't get me wrong, he insta-kills you if he gets close but like you know, it's not too hard to actually keep your distance to him. If you play it safe. It's relatively easy to play it safe with him. But yeah, if you have uh, the USB hub that I have, for example, my wheel is connected to and it's all of my peripherals, that one has like a meter long cable. Like that, that that's like chunky enough. Basically, get everything here. The web browser Bible is getting up there again. I see you're playing that image. <laughs> Boing! <laughs> Just ejecting the code like that. Oh, come on, you stupid piece of shit. Uh -uh. Didn't ask you for, to rotate like that. I mean, I could very much shorten the development time of my setup by just, you know, driving straight onto the Nordschleife every single time and just taking fluke plots because if it doesn't take fluke plots close to flat, then um, it will probably have issues <laughs> at other places as well. And then I could immediately try Schwedenkreuz if the thing understeers over the crest there as well. Interchangeable. I mean, it was faster through there, but like, I'm not too sure if the car was less understeering or it was just me taking the corner better. See me spend money because I can't tell what you actually sent. Okay, that's also better. I'm getting my GT3 lines down finally. I don't see the middle word. It ends with I and goes with, it goes full of paid. It's it's the stupid heart symbol still <laughs> causing pain for everyone. Streams on YouTube. Oh god, for fuck's sakes! How do I bin it in like? Oh, you didn't even send out a word bin before, and it's just. Uh, 
paid some money today. It's just such a weird one. Um, the sleeping pill, or like instead of the, you just take the pill. I see <laughs> that one. Uh, why did I bend it again? Come on! Like I've genuinely not bend it that often <laughs> previously on the circuit, and it just like. You know, that, that's one of the few sections that actually has run off Adenauer first. And I still find a way to hit the barrier. Well, I mean, I, I didn't care too much about the barrier in this case. We, did, we very much only graced it. Um, the, the thing was that I threw the lap already again away. And I, I, I wanted an actual valid lap, maybe. I think the setup might be progress. And yeah, I've, I was very productive yesterday, not too much today, with like, developing, set, uh, doing some software development. I just need to finish something today. And not need to finish it today, I just need to, you know, compile the Windows version because I was developing... Because I hadn't compiled the Windows version for that software, it was my... What's it called? It was the... It was my plugin replacement... Um, not my plugin. I, I need to work on my .NET extension so the overlay actually works with the circuit. I mean, you do get still obviously the session time and stuff like that. That works all. But um, if I was in a multiplayer server, you couldn't see in which position I am and the gaps. That just doesn't work. And I, I don't get why it's breaking and like I need to update my sim hub and... Oh, wait. I drove, I think, the wrong direction, yeah. Let's turn around and do... do the, should I just do this lap now? Ah, oh, fuck it. Fuck it, we're gonna do a lap on the launch life if we found a timer. Yeah, let's watch me just do it correctly and have no issues, and as soon as I start my flying lap, I will actually bend it immediately. God, I hate myself. <laughs> Just watch me in eight minutes again. <laughs> well, it's actually six, but we've already completed the GP circuit. I mean, uh, I, I may be in the middle of the slap, and like my, my assumption doesn't come true, but you know. Starting to see the sunrise here. What plan for episode maybe stand one? Okay, um Yeah, where was I stuck with my conversation? Oh my see, I won't get there with that trust. You 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 okay. Okay, I cooked it myself. <laughs> no, it didn't last six minutes because I tried to take straight cards flat. I got close! <laughs> <laughs> gotta be real, it got actually relatively close to sticking that one. <laughs> I didn't actually expect to get that close to sticking train cards. <laughs> but it wasn't quite. <laughs> .NET, ah yes. .NET, yeah I need to write my plugins. Um, but yeah, I was... The main thing is that I need to um, I need to compile the version and re finish the release of my uh, um, ECC um, CS, uh, CSV to CSV to um, BOP program, which is a simple command line tool that converts CSV files into BOP JSONs and also backwards, in case you want to have a spreadsheet. <laughs> It is uh, very neat in that sense. It's very compatible. The problem was, I, I realized I, I hadn't even updated this thing for the update in January. So yeah, the update is very overdue, but nobody is using the tool anyway, so it's like, huh. You know, I am, I'm doing this for myself at this rate. Nobody cares to the extent that, like, I had shared this on the track discord. 
Um, then the track admins were like, well, we kind of need a tool for this, like, a few weeks or months later, and then asked just K to do one, and I'm like, then I saw K do a stream where he did some dev work in Python, and I'm like, went to it, went like, wait a minute, dude, I, I, I had done a tool for this. <laughs> Here it is, and he's like, oh, why did I know about that? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> this is uh, me disappearing. <laughs> Into the ether and like nobody noticing that I'm making useful tools is like nothing new. <laughs> like nobody noticing my presence is like, like not the newest thing. <laughs> like the, the funny thing is, whenever I'm actually trying to be noticed, nobody notices. But when I'm not trying, like everyone is like, suddenly becomes aware of my existence when I'm not trying to be it make anyone aware of my existence, it's it's really hilarious. <laughs> well that like constantly is an inverse. Yeah I mean you did quote the server rules to a mod, like it's it's kind of like asking for a power tripping mod to piss twist their pants and just get at you. Like there's a certain thing of just I know, there's the problem of autism, of people not understanding social cues. And that in certain environments you should actively piss off the people around you. I mean, I've done this. I have got my sh fair shares of ridiculous vans of Discord servers. Well, actually not that many. Come to think of it, I've... Been only like three, I think, in grand total. But in terms of, well, actually more, a few more, like about less than half a dozen, right? And that's over like a relatively sizable time span, like eight years or something. I've collected one after another. Yeah, they might, but like, if a moderator doesn't feel like they want to apply the server rules to everyone, and then someone to everyone, you're not gonna convince them to actually stay to their rules. The like calling out hypocrisy is not gonna earn you anything. The only thing you're gonna earn is looking like a smart ass, and the one is not gonna be happy about having to deal with a smart ass here. Yeah? Especially, you know, maybe because the potential is that maybe you you weren't in the right because they feel like this isn't what was said isn't politics. Because that's the bigger thing. They probably didn't consider it politics and they just then decided that, like they should bonk you for that. Yeah, that that's but that's also the main thing. It's like you you're sort of messing with a moderator who's likely power tripping. And that just isn't gonna win you any favors. The problem is you don't quite understand their position and they don't understand your position. <laughs> And they are the person with the ban hammer in the hand. The regular person will realize um, that they either should just leave to not have to deal with this person. Or, you know, if they don't want to leave that place, to not piss that person off. If they can. <laughs> pointing out the rules to the moderator is just not... It's just asking for trouble. That's something that is just hard to understand for people who don't understand. I mean, it doesn't come naturally to me, but like that comes to me because it's logical. I don't have empathy, I don't have understanding of people, I just logic these things back into existence for myself. 
<laughs> Fuck, I drift that I'm fucking wrong completely. Well, uh, if, if, if you're arguing with leftists at this point, and uh, leftists do not know the concept of no politics, they just don't. They don't accept this as an existable concept. And if they claim that there is no politics and that you shouldn't apply politics in their presence, um, they're gonna f justify this that like these these things that they're discussing are like so important that they do supersede these rules and like aren't politics are like generally important or something along those lines. The main thing is in it, you having the audacity to may to uh, say like, oh yeah, I don't want to listen to you rant about this for like <laughs> hours. That you probably that the, they will view you as opposing these positions. You're immediately an opponent. The irrelevant of what your actual position is, which is probably not against these things. They will just lump you onto the opponent side, and they they will just f get rid of you immediately. And witch hunt you out of the community. Th this is something you have to be very aware of, leftist. Either walk on actual or get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't get quite get rid of them, it's just. Try to not enter, enter a political debate with them. A, because you're not gonna win if you wanna actually oppose them. You're not gonna win. It, because it's. In the classic thing of you're gonna of um, arguing with an idiot because the idiot will put it down to their level and beat you with experience. Leftists might not be stupid, but they will just use very much use the bait tactics to just shut down any options for you. And you think it's, uh, is um, vampire tactics against them, which is it sure shine lights on them. They usually expose themselves very easily. <laughs> to their list of whack job ideas. Right. Okay. So let's. Uh, this is relatively difficult to follow chat on the circuit, and especially in this last section here, where there's just so many corners. But I mean, we have like finally a straightaway. Okay. Okay, and then afterwards. Let's see. Yeah, this is also like a problem where just you have obviously like just. I mean, this isn't exclusive to certain political groups, but like, if this sort of like ass-kissing circle of just... Where you don't want to be the next person getting lynched, so like, actually standing up and opposing someone is like, not something you want to do, but like... You know, it doesn't help me much if... If you now come out of the woodwork and be like, um... In private, be like, oh yeah, I actually support you. It's like, you know, I kind of needed you on the ground, but like, you didn't do anything then. I actually needed you. Oh hey, we did it in 8 minutes 23, that's actually reasonably fast! Also, we're going to gain only 6, six tenths on the straight over here. Like, that's actually not terrible! Okay, I'd have turned one view like a second up, but like... <laughs> oh, I'm getting steered. Like, what, what did you say earlier? You did mention about you doing something. You probably commissioned something, as far as I understand. Also, how is your fan attack order saga continuing? <laughs> uh, th that that's a thing. Mm. Oh yeah, and I didn't get to talk about .NET. So. I did mention that I had to compile my CSV too. Still need to. Then I can put the release out. With the .NET stuff, I need to lightly recompile my current gap calculation plugin when I switch uh, some version. 
maybe even rework it because it's all still using old APIs for getting player data. Okay, what is that? <laughs> Probably read the entire thing on the straight. Oh, come on, shitbox! How the fuck did I not lose time there? Like, I genuinely didn't lose a tenth there, although the gap calculation is pretty broken on the Nelt Life, as you might notice. Uh, with this circuit. Let me actually whip out my own. Because that one is actually reliable. I mean, you can't see it, unfortunately. I don't have it on my overlay. Yeah, I'm actually six tenths up. The gap displayed there is completely wrong. And that, despite this track length, will still remain always accurate. Although, actually, it is fluctuating right there as well. Oh, maybe there, there is... I mean, it's not fluctuating as badly, it's such as fluctuating on the third digit. <laughs> Which is, like, not too unusual. But it, it's jumping up, down relatively aggressively. I don't know why, it's like nearly jumping onto the second digit. losing ground right now. Uh, and here's my time to actually read the message. Oh, there's the sunrise. Yeah, I'm still driving that corner wrong. Actually, way wrong compared to the last round. Oh, God! So sideways, and that's all the time gone. We're now... Well, actually, we did gain time out of the corner. We're faster there. Uh, sure, hold on, let's go. Oh, micro... Is that a title for the... Lin uh, not the Linux guy, sorry. Is it the French guy? Uh, and no, not the KDE developer, the other one. <laughs> it's like the French Linux YouTuber. Wait a minute, it is too. <laughs> <laughs> what is the KD? What is the KD developer? The other one is. It's an infrastructure guy. Yeah. yeah, we're tied now. Um. I still don't get what the hell that title is supposed to mean. I mean, I struggle to have enough time to read the damn thing. Uh, tomorrow going to angrily made file text. Will be eight work days, oh boy. Yeah, I did mail um, Uber Market for my order last night. I haven't received a response as far as I checked from them yet. Um, my order has still not had any progress on the UPS tracker. We're actually now positive because I lost half a second there on that hairpin down there. But yeah, on the UPS uh, tracker it still has made zero progress. And that's just like, you know... It's been... Literally two and a half weeks since it said that it would be shipped. Since they sent me the email and the yeah, system also says that the order has been shipped when it clearly hasn't been. It's just digitally registered with UPS and not actually sent. So I'm like, hey, that that's like... That it takes like a day or two for this process is normal. That we're talking about weeks is not. And hey, I complain about it. So if they get back to me within, you know, a reasonable time frame, tell me, like, hey, oopsie daisies, we forgot in the warehouse. Who 
Because if that's the case, like, okay, fine. I mean, it's not great for them, but like... Also, I did order from... <laughs> I ordered from Face Connect again. <laughs> This might that I haven't had any update on my first order. <laughs> the back in August last year. <laughs> the authentic face connect experience, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, for Pippa's uh, merch last year, it was... Um, some people took like 200 days to get it delivered. Oh god. Completely off there. Oh fuck. Yeah, I need to break before the dipper there. The car just gets launched otherwise. Let's continue. <laughs> they didn't have a hotline, okay. I mean, I wasn't gonna call over market because they're new, guys. So that's, that's like out of the question. Empfangsbestätigung in front of, but I didn't actually confirm that, uh, turn that on, I that was. I did have to change my, um, identity slightly on the send, because I was... Because I unfortunately signed up by Uvu Market, um, on my, one of my email addresses that doesn't have my real name in it. Which means I had to uh, specifically, and it has like obviously a fake name then attached to it also for the name that, because you sent an email, the email address might contain your name and then obviously you can send emails with, you know, your name. But like it had both, not, which is my order, both my, um, the email address and the use the name attached to it was not my real name, but like you can just change that on the fly and like this works fine, like doesn't care. Email protocol. Also, I did have actually issues um, the other day with Hotmail in my um, Thunderbird. I did actually run into issues with that. As you had uh, told me once. Like, for once I actually had issues because it just refused to sync at all. Restarting the program then suddenly led to it syncing finally, but... Yeah, do be like that. That's a bit annoying. I didn't know... Because I was ex uh, waiting for the email for from the face store to come back in. But I neither had the face email nor my PayPal email um, for order confirmation. And then it was like, yep, like I, I, I just restart, uh, looked on the online, saw the emails were there, restarted by Thunderbird, yeah, they were there. So that worked fine then. Honestly, at this point, I don't even know um, um, with. Because I do remember, like, how long did it take for you to get your order? Um, Andrena, because... Uh, so. Perhaps girl doesn't have, actually... But yeah, yeah. Andrea, how... how Oh, come on, why every single lap is this a thing? <laughs> why every lap does this cow just suddenly decide in that corner to just throw hands up and decide to not stick anyone on the ground? So weird. I don't get it. To figure that one call out. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm leaving like a second there, basically. Just with a massive sideways moment. Alone. Wide on the apex there completely, but yeah, how long it how long did it actually took for your order to be delivered? Because 
Frap might be at this point waiting for his fan attack order longer than you took for your Moza order. Because your Moza order. Have... <sighs> but I mean, I, I do know as well that, like, Frap had his reasons to obviously go fan attack. That being that he wants the support on consoles. Specifically, both consoles. Although, I mean, I, I'm like, why do you necessarily need the support on them, considering they haven't released a racing game actually worth playing on a wheel in the last decade <laughs> that is exclusive to those platforms? I mean, I guess GT7, but like, I. Do I really want to? kill myself with that progression system. Do I? Like, I don't. But I guess for each their own. <laughs> and I mean, GT Sport doesn't exist anymore, so... <laughs> That's also, like, one of the games that have been killed. Come to find the vid. Like, GT Sport is dead. GT Sport actually a free-to-play game or actually a paid game? Come to think of it. Ubisoft is, it looks quite nearly gracious in comparison to Sony in, the compa in that comparison. And GT7 is also always online, so... Once they switch the servers for that thing off, it's gone as well. Once GT8 comes out, likely. So that, like, sucks a lot. Oh, come on, shitbox. I mean, it's faster still, but, like, Christ, it still wanted to kick. It's 130 gigabytes. 87 is paid. You mean 130 gigabytes for GT Sport? I don't know what actually still works in GT Sport. I think GT Sport still had some single player components that work. But like, it's as far as I know, doesn't. It, it got its online switched off for the most part. Oh god, I slowed down a lot there. Way more than I needed. Yeah, gauging the amount that I need to slow down for mood cover is pretty tricky. Because it's probably less than you think. Like, the corner is actually, like, really easy on this game. The cars basically come to, like, full stop. So if you ask for any braking there. Right now, I'm not positive on the Delta. But slightly out of An offline patch for sport. So you can actually still play some parts of a sport. But obviously you can't do online racing anymore for the game. Which you know, was the main component of the game. Although they, I think over the years they did patch like some offline content into the game because at launch I think this was like you could do online and online. And it was the selection of hourly races and that was basically it. What they provided you in, as gameplay. GT Sport on launch. Okay, I need to break for that crest. Like, lifting is not enough. The front end will still just fly up. This is like I'm driving a prototype over that crest. Like, I do remember um, actually taking the LMP2 car from Malfactor 2 around the circuit. And um, whenever there's a crest like that one, the front end would just fly. Like, you couldn't... It wouldn't quite blow over the car completely, but like... Man, you could get some real height with that. 
And ACC is doing the same thing but with GG3s right now, and that's like kind of hilarious. Because uh, th that's kind of not how it works. <laughs> like, they do find the ground again, they don't fly like that, really. So, we find a whole two tenths of <laughs> this lab. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> FAP <laughs> Yes, yes, I already found that <laughs> uh, Yes, FAP I see what happened there again. And I overshoot him on. Obviously, on my. S <laughs> we can inevitably do that. And lose 4 times to the process. Instead of gaining any time. But I mean, me. <laughs> but yeah, what I meant is, like, it specifically denied me getting sub 23. Even though I should have easily gotten a full second out of this lap time. It's nice, it's just... I had not seven GT7 I'm driving on ECC and then GT7 I understand. Oh you've turned up for the Wednesday race. And I'm getting oversteer moment in this corner again. Ugh, I hate this corner. Like for some reason that corner just doesn't want to work with me. Although I'm now actually positive again, considering my massive mistake in turn one. But yeah, I mean, you did miss obviously the main race. <laughs> we finished third. I was leading the entire race till the guy caught up to me a bit more and then. You know, didn't break enough, it uh, drove into turn one too fast, the guy behind me, and just re-ended me and spun me around. Like, that's fun. It's it's the same guy who I'm leading the championship over, which meant I didn't tie the championship up, unfortunately. But I'm, even though this hit me, like, in the worst way, because he won and I finished third, even without a points penalty, I'm still, what is it, 17 points ahead of him. Like, I'm still winning. So it's like, you know, I'm just gonna fucking turn up for the... I, I reported it, but like, if it doesn't happen anything from it, I'm probably still winning a championship by just finishing the last race. Maybe I'll just let the asshole by next time, so he doesn't spin me out. Oh, fuck off, car. Kick like a mule there mid-corner. Stay for long, I see. Yeah, I mean, I'm practicing some Nordschleife right now. We're planning to do... a race on the Nordschleife with... Jordan and Chris in... Two weeks time. I'm well, not quite two weeks anymore. It's one and a half. And it's gonna feature. 
I haven't quite decided on the car yet, but it's probably the 720S because it's, you know, it's the 720S. How wrong can you go with this car? Considering what happened with the Aston with him, it's like... Yeah, maybe... There have been worse choices. That's for sure. <laughs> Isn't with all the DLC um, like coming for the year, isn't it? Probably. It's probably coming out to those numbers. I've probably not spent quite as much because I bought some of the th uh, DLC and stuff on sale. I think prior to um, the. Uh, what's it called? Which DLC? It was prior to Red Bull Ring. I ran the math um, of how much I spend on ECC. And that was around uh, 95 euros. Or was that actually Red Bull Ring included? I think that might include. Whoa! I, I, I'm sorry, but like the physics should not depart like that out of the car. Like, I might have brushed the wall, but the car should just be launched into the air there, like that. Uh, can I join the race too? I don't mean you can sign up a car, I'm not... I'm not we have our lineup. Um... I mean, you're getting internet on a train. <laughs> Alright, flat spots light on the front. But that's expected after that spin early on the run. I spun with a flunce garden there at some point. Right, but I think that this setup actually, you know, works. For the most part, so that's just... Actually, it sort of works, so we can, you know, save that. So, and then the is... E... Nord. Actually, N24 is usually my top performance. N2401. This just gives a decent baseline for the car already. So, um. There's a fresh tower set. Let's see, what happens if we take the front error off the car? This is usually done in. So, probably a set of wisdom. To achieve the same aero balance, we would need to increase the rear end by about um, three millimeters. We do have not maximum rear wing on the car. I mean, there's some sizable long straightaways on the circuit, so like that might actually make sense to set the car up like that. Tire pressures are fine uh, where they are. Yeah, I think that's good. That's by the way, I'm not train. Okay. What was the first race? Well, didn't... Oh, yeah, you probably didn't hear it again, did you? I, I literally explained that, like, I was leading the entire race. And then... After you joined, I explained that I was leading the entire race, got taken out at the end of the race. Finished third. My opponent, who had taken me out also in race one... <laughs> who had issues um, with, um... Well, he, he was the one who took me out this time again. Just turn one, I was already after the apex, starting to accelerate, and he still hit me in the rear and spun me out. With two laps to go. Which really sucks, because 
The thing is, I would have tied the championship up. I, I was 27 points ahead. So, like, he, he I, I genuinely was about to... Shit, I don't have that. Uh, yeah, I was, I was gonna tie the championship up there right then and there, and it's like... That was taken away from me. <laughs> Lucky me, this isn't the end of it. Because, I mean, he gained 10 points on me. If he doesn't get penalized, obviously. Which he probably will, but, like, it's gonna be again 10 points. So, like, it's gonna not matter as much. <laughs> Although he didn't get the fastest lap, so, you know. Go figure. But, yeah, if he... Getting penalized... Get penal if he doesn't get penalized, um, I'm gonna lose 10 points on him. Which sucks, but isn't the end of the world, because I, I led with 27 points coming into this round. I was on 91 points, he was on 64. I'm... This means that hitting into the last round, I just need to finish... ...somewhere. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely basically just need to finish at that run. <laughs> like 17 points in hand. I, I think I need to just finish like 5th or something. It's like I'm gonna be easily done. So I'm gonna spy the man soon. Stop the chain. Ah, yes. Are we gonna die here again? The car really loves to just s try to spin itself out there. I don't get it. But yeah, it is, it do be like that I would have won literally every race in this championship if I hadn't been taken out. Out of two of the races where I didn't win. You know, that's something to consider. <laughs> for a moment. I'm not doing a second race. I'm just doing Nordschleife practice to pat the stream. <laughs> you know? Because obviously the race is only 35 minutes long, so I'm like, I'm, I'm not doing much more, and I don't do much practice ahead of the stream. Um, ahead of the race, so like, my stream would literally be live for just about an hour. Just under an hour. Because it's 10 minutes of practice, 35 minutes of qualifying. That is the usual config. This is just me doing practice right now. Win. I mean, I've not been the fastest driver in most of the rounds. And this is down to the car just being... ...woefully um, slow. The Porsche is just not particularly great. Like, it's fast. I mean, I took the... L he out-qualified me, but, like, I took the lead before turn one because, you know, I had enough speed heading up the hill that that was... That I can just do that. It's not much of an issue for me. So yeah, I've been always like not down on speed, but it's just uh, I've had straight line speed, but not cornering. Porsche is it's woeful, and especially the Red Bull Ring, despite how much high speed it has, it's like for my practice, it was all <laughs> the Porsche was the slowest car. I just picked it because I liked it. <laughs> That's gonna be enough. Because the guy had like a few rounds where he like had really bad finishes, for example. I mean, he would have done well at Nurburgring if he hadn't like taken himself out on me. Okay, so he had 
We're gonna make a move that just wouldn't stick. And this has been an issue, like nobody has been able actually to overtake me. <laughs> before taking me out. Which is just funny in its own right. First flyer advantage on this circuit is quite something. Like your second flyer is just gonna be so much slower because of tire wear. If you have to do full form uh, forma uh, formation laps, you probably have to do F1 tactics in terms of like driving really slowly on the out lap to. Not engage the tire. Now we need to slightly tap the brake. Still not enough, Jesus! Like I don't know how you're supposed to take that corner. Like in the Porsche Cup, eh, not Porsche Cup, the 935 or Porsche GT2, it's perfectly fine to just do a double brake and just brake and then brake again because you can take the corner anyway, not with that much speed. I <laughs> said, but this is good, but to take a damn shower. Okay, technically I am a Discord model right now because I have, I do have my own Discord, so, <laughs> so I'm technically a Discord mod. No, I'm an admin, technically. That's even better, but like, what's the difference even? Taking a shower would be a good idea. And 1.7 seconds actual gain. So still not sub 20.
Come on. Just going for the stabilized route, just take the corner slowly and then just drive out of it once the car decides to actually want to do it. Really just refused to take that corner. Get any closer there. Uh, I've slayer already used the animal, so yeah. Uh, let's hear this god. Alt Team Moffa Moffa. Haven't made the server public yet. I mean, I probably should. <laughs> but then again, I'm occasionally a bit shy. I've been working on... Um, one of the things I, like... When I stopped being effectively productive is when... Um, I was doing a bunch of commits to, like... Software to update it. I had to update my um, setup manager because I noticed I hadn't even included... Functionality for... You know, the, um, what is it called? I didn't even include the functionality to support the GT2s in the Red Bull Ring yet. With my setup manager, so that was a bit of an oof. I'd obviously not noticed because I'm not importing any setups for the GT2s. Nor am I moving it around or exporting them. Because it's only me driving the car. Oh boy, I lost a bunch of time there in those two corners. That cost me like four tens and I'm continuing to- Oh god, I've lost so much time there! I was over a second up and I just lost like half, six tens there. And another one! Like why am I losing so much ground all of a sudden? What the fuck's happening? I was so much up. I did nothing wrong there. Oh, why the fuck did all my time just suddenly disappear? Okay, that was not a great exit, but like, I'm not losing time! What the hell is happening? <sighs> oh, I got oversteered there off the corner, and that's time lost. A lot. Because that's gonna just propagate up the hell the entire time. Uh, it was a full second up and just lost it all. Over nothing. Like I just drove the lines normal. Just like... <laughs> no, the game doesn't. This is the track issue, this is just the game issue. Or just sim racing in general doesn't like me. This is not a... The, Issue exclusive to the circuit, this game, or well, anything, frankly. I'm starting to find some time at least back. This good time could have been used to, you know, get suddenly subbed to Wendy. Oh god, no, 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 we're gonna lose anything. Weird. The car just got sucked off the, the top of the f spiral there. So yeah, go figure, that's gonna obviously cost a shit ton of time. But yeah, but what I was uh, gonna say uh, before um, my delta interrupted me <laughs> is that um, I was productive yesterday with writing some software to improve uh, to include obviously all well, the software that has to include the new circuit and everything those AC to C tools had to be updated so did a bunch of pushes on them I in the meantime implemented um, a webhook for 
onto my Discord server to um, allow all my GitHub actions. Not all of them, because you have to integrate them repository by repository, but sure, I've implemented them for more of mine. Uh, we're not even positive anymore at this point. <laughs> this jump is just so awkward. I, I don't know how to take this without dying, basically. And that's actually an invalidation. I invalidated the, the fuck. Jesus Christ. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That was death. So, what's your angry German? I'm not even that angry for German. Um. Not even raging in German. Yeah. The. What. What I then sat down to um, is. Well, I could, you know. I would like. On my Discord server, notifications when I go live. You know, makes sense. This shouldn't be too hard, right? And then, like, Discord bots, like, oh hey, we have this Discord bot here, but like, you know, premium attached to it, and like, all of that nonsense red tape. And I'm like, bruh, I, I have a home server, I can just run the code to run a Discord server. This shouldn't be too hard, right, to just, you know, just throw a Discord bot quickly together to, you know, read out if I'm live or not, and then put a message in the chat. Right? I went for six hours to war with the Google API. <laughs> and I'm not even done yet. <laughs> I think I'm more of the Google API, but like, I'm starting to understand it. Like, I wanted to use it first Rust, because I'm relatively familiar with Rust. Um, the Rust port of the Google API just doesn't work. Flat out. Um, that doesn't work. Um, it might have worked in the past, it's like, it's super complicated, doesn't work properly. So I went, okay. Then I'm gonna go with their sample, I'm gonna go with Go, because Go is officially supported by Google. It's even a language Google invented, so like, okay, fine. I'm gonna go with Go. <laughs> even though I'm not too familiar with Go. <laughs> I've written a bit in it, but like, not done much with Go. I I've, I've touched the water a bit with it. Uh, you know, I, I ran into just so many issues with there was a bunch of stuff that was deprecated then um, stuff didn't like when I started to explore the API it started to do weird things go is a bit weird in general with projects because the go tool basically works more like GCC than the, uh, than cargo but also in part like cargo so it's it's, it's just weird in the ways Like, in some ways, it's just the compiler, and you need to feed it each Go file that you need, want to actually compile. But also, at the same time, it can download modules from the repository, and it's like, huh? And the tutorial for doing anything doesn't actually explain how you properly set up projects! No, for fuck's sake, you stupid piece of shit! Why did you need to throw all the lap time away, you fucking donkey of a car? I hate it. I hate this corner so much. Because there's some fucking undulations mid corner that are just unsettled the car. And if you're slightly too fast, you're gonna lose so much ground because the car goes completely sideways mid corner for no reason. I just wanna run wide, okay? I know there's not much room on the outside there, but like mid corner, this is fine. Like, why isn't this. F okay, and here the car didn't wanna stick either. God, like. Car for six tenths down. Ever been to the Nurburgring? Actually, no. <laughs> I did say on Monday evening. I after the stream, I hopped on to um, Mr. Git's uh, stream. Well, I, I didn't. I, I went into his chat. I didn't. <laughs> but like, um, I did chit chat a bit, and like I mentioned that, you know, I I would be in. Like I I probably want to go actually I want to go to the 24 hour one day I just haven't gotten you know around to it and me committing to something that is more than um, two hours ahead in time is like a bit of a difficulty <laughs> I 
So it's like, hey, I, I would love to go to the 24. It's just... I haven't gotten around to it, and it's also like, you know, uh, people, humans around, ah! You know, how, how am I actually, you know, staying at the Lord Schleife? <laughs> how to just social etiquette, social... Ah! <laughs> you know, I, I feel like halfway confident in going to an anime convention, you know, but like... Which I've actually also done that once. <laughs> And other people I know, but like, we're not gonna go deeper on this one. <laughs> but yeah, I, f I feel like at least half we're confident in doing that, like that's... But like, to an event, especially where like, um, how do I stay the night? You know? <laughs> what do I need to plan? <laughs> I don't know, I mean, there's probably guides out there, I just haven't stumbled over them with natural browsing. <laughs> to tutorialize how to, you know, survive the Nurburgring. <laughs> Neither do I go to concerts, by the way. I guess that got, got thrown as a question. And I do go to really to sports ball events. Uh, green Hell Zone. <laughs> green Hell Zone. God damn it. You, you do stay with you. With you, Sonic. Um. Right, intro at thoughts. Even more spontaneous first. The, the thing is, I'm not really spontaneous. I, I like to plan occasionally, but it's like... The problem is, is when I'm like, I'm not sure if I can commit to something. So I have to become spontaneous. <laughs> because I want... I'm too perfectionist with my planning, so I have to act spontaneously. <laughs> and... Oh yeah, I just got the lap invalidated, by the way, for hitting the wall there. <laughs> wall riding is not permitted there. <laughs> it take for 90 minutes. What shortcut did you take to, to overcome your GPS? Or uh, is the shortcut just ignoring American speed limits? <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, yeah, th th that's the answer. Okay, yeah, ignoring the American speed limits. <laughs> because that's, I, I think, about 170 kilometers now or something like that. Something in that realm. But averaging that is, like, mental. <laughs> like, on the outer band, you're not even getting close to averaging that either. Like, you can hit that as, like, um peak, roughly, when the autobahn is relatively clean. Like, if there's some traffic, but, like, you're not doing, like, speed runs, or if you're not trying to, like, go really damn fast on the autobahn, those are sort of the numbers you can hit at maximum if you're not trying to hit the maximum speed of your car. If it's completely clean and you're actually trying to, like, go for speed, ensure you can hit two... Hit the maximum speed of your car, which most cars are, um, because of tire restrictions, restricted to 100, uh, 210 kilometers an hour or 240, depending on the tires you have on. It's regularly the restrictions in place. But your car's also like completely redlining it, basically at that point. Yeah, wait, they're not really designed to go this fast. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would do the same for something like that. It's just... <laughs> I like to plan, and then, like, I end up not planning, and then I have to very spontaneously put something together. But also, like, do do I really like to plan? Because, like, a lot of my tasks are often I'm like, Oh yeah, I need to do this, 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 and this. And I'm like, I don't plan anything. And then I've realized, hold on a minute. They're all due today. Oh, sh... They're all, like, th these two are due today. Oh, shit. And then, like, all night to time it is. 
Like, the, the, the amount of all, like, I've definitely pulled a few all nights as last semester. For some assignments. Like, late night sh sprints, definitely, they, they, they happened a few of them, but like, all night has also happened. Um, especially funny because um, some of them, like, for the most part finished the assignment and then just like... I clock in in the morning into a lecture and like I've just basically filed it in at that point but till 12. <laughs> and I'm passing out in the middle of the lecture. I definitely slept like quite a few times. Uni last semester. Because my body will just pass me out. I usually can't do 4.24 hours without going to sleep. Molly is very aggressive on those things. I have done a 24 hour race solo, I will still point that out. Without a pause. I still did that. Two thirds of the race is still available as VODs on my channel. Ask for the other a third why YouTube didn't actually go live in the middle part. Jesus Christ, I'm not... It's not quite as fast as I was. It's the top speed I've reached on the outer band, but like, man, that's, that's still like stupid fast. And considering the speed limit in America is 60, at most, going 210 is, you know, I don't know, not a great idea. <laughs> Stupid thing. Lost a lot of time there due to running white. I mean, it didn't spin nearly, but like, I'm still four tenths down now. I mean, I guess this is roughly where I was at R Factor 2 with this car. <laughs> uh, not with this car, actually. I, I think I've never raced the Sim 20S in R Factor 2. Well, I'm not sure. Maybe, but like, I, I've driven the Audi on the Nordschleife and I have done... I've driven the C7, actually there's VOD still on my channel for that one as well. Although that one is under videos because uh, back then if you edited a VOD... Um, it basically was moved over, something like that. You couldn't edit videos in place. That wasn't a thing, you, you, it would become a new upload automatically. And I took the L on that one, I had to edit something out. Um Yeah the car's not fast anymore. The front end is the car's just not negotiating corners quite as fast as it used to. Hello car, would you kindly you know car? Instead of just Oh look at this Look at it I mean, the, the sun is not glaring in my face too hard because it's VR and I think some of the graphic settings prevent the game from just turning the sun into a blinding mess that it would actually be. But look at all the light here. Illuminating the forest slowly. This is why I love picking this time of day. Oh, come on, shitbox. Have I tried the GT2 Merc? Um, not on the Nordschleife. I have driven it at Spa, for example, back when the car was new. Um, I've driven... I competed in a two-hour race with the car. I've also test-driven it, obviously, on Red Bull Ring in comparison to the other GT2s, and found it as one of the fastest cars in the class. With the Porsche, you know, the car that I have on my thumbnail. <laughs> it's like the one that I actually competed in a race um, probably like nearly two hours ago at this point. <laughs> I don't know how long I've been live. I, it, it's been a while. But yeah, it, it's been a while since I've, I've gone live and um, yeah, the what was I gonna say? The uh, 
and I compete usually with the Porsche, despite that it's like, it's not fast. I, I think the um, the BOP in GT2 is not great, but that's my opinion. I don't know if I'm right. I'm still winning with the Porsche, so it's like, uh... Am I just not getting something? Like, it, it's just slow of a lap, but like, no one can overtake me, so it's like, huh? But I know the Mercedes is really fast in a straight line, so it's like... Uh... Like, is this... GT2 Merc got buffed? Are they drunk or something? Like, the GT2 Merc was really good already. Like, it, it was really fast. I think it wasn't too great in cornering either. Like, the Porsche, but... Good year it's on a Porsche, so that's like, I guess there's the advantage. Maybe the Merc was just too straight line speed focused, while the Porsche is really good in its acceleration, which means it can um, dominate all the straights, which is why it's impossible to overtake the car. But apparently everybody else outbreaks the damn thing, because I constantly keep getting re-ended with it. Although I guess I'm outbreaking them, because, you know, I slow down still faster than them. <laughs> But, uh, you know, th th there is the issue that they like. This has become a recurring issue for me. People just hitting the back end of my car. In this GT2 championship. I got taken out this time around again, and... I reported it again. But even if he doesn't get a penalty for it, despite that he very much should, I will be... Gladly to compete and I will still be very easily able to win the championship In the next round. It just sucks that I couldn't tie it up tonight Because it would have given me the option to not attend the next round Now I need to definitely attend still because otherwise he actually gonna still win it Man, I'm four seconds off the pace like holy shit. Like, holy frick, how, how slow am I? Like, why, the car is like completely free falling right now on pace. And the Audi was also like a BOP. It's like, at least at the Red Bull ring, the, the Por two Porsches were the slowest. Followed by. Um, the Merc was the fastest, I think, with the Mas McLaren. Um, not blue, what am I saying? The Maserati. Yeah, Maserati, the MC20. The Audi was A, eh, but somewhat slow, and the KTM was like struggling to stop. But otherwise, doing fine. Like, I mean, if you drive the other GT2s, you realize the KTM is not breaking that badly. <laughs> it's, it's like. It's just, it's a bit weird. Because you, you expect better. Especially if you pick it as your f first GT2 car to drive, it's, it's gonna catch you off guard. And the Porsche, I guess it's not too bad on the brakes. But yeah, I did drive the Porsche on Monday on this track here. It was an experience. <laughs> like, the tire held on better than I expected because the... What I've had in this championship that I've been driving specifically, where we've raced the Red Bull Ring tonight, was that uh, the... Tires on the Porsche regularly drop off way before the end of uh, way the end of before the end of the race, and that's 35 minute race. So <laughs> for the Porsche to last a two hour race, um, that's actually impressive. And uh, not two hours, sorry, it was one hour race to, to actually last the distance on the tires. Like, they were a tad bit worn. They had blisters on the rear. But they were still doing fine. Like, I actually could turn on everything. That's just... Yeah. Kind of fits the mood of the sun. Procedural music. <laughs> well, that's a name you don't hear anymore since the AI buzzword has taken over.
was it today or yesterday that I saw on Twitter an article linked? I don't know if it's real or anything. Is that um, Amazon is facing out their walk in, walk out stores, the checkout list stores? Because effectively they weren't like some fancy technology. It was just um, a couple thousand Indians basically s looking at the footage and determining what you're purchasing. And they realize this isn't particularly efficient. <laughs> you know, they probably try to actually uh, have some technological solution for the problem and it's like it didn't work and they had to stop gap with a bunch of Indians and then the stop gap became permanent <laughs> so they're getting rid of the entire system so mastodon I see I did not read the article, so it wasn't like... Man, this this looks beautiful. I had previously tried like 5 a.m. and like... Oh yeah, you can see it, it's just getting light, but like it's not... You know, this su sudden glow that I loved in R-Factor 2 and it's like... There it is! And I mean, we started the session at 4 a.m. And I've been since then doing... Laps and... Now having the full sunrise experience as I want it. Oh, this is just, I mean, the KR is not doing put good pace, but like, it is, this is just poor at this point. <laughs> ah, come on. Car is refusing to car occasionally. Yeah, that's... I mean, as a European, this is... Anti-union stuff is, like, in general crazy what's going on in America, but it's also like... You know, unions function a bit different over here. One of the funny things is that, like... In one of those videos of, like, you know, Walmart had tried at some point to expand to Germany. And apparently... They tried to apply the American culture to here and like it didn't, wasn't received well and um, obviously, uh, which union is actually for Heinz uh, and It's dealing with that. Verdi I think is the one um, specifically for that. If I'm not mistaken, um, they they were trying to help them and like tell them, look, you, you don't have door greeters because Germans look at you really weird if you just greet them. <laughs> like f this this fake friendliness just comes really awkward. Just, just leave them out. <laughs> and they were like, no, we're not talking to a union. Like, what the hell are you on about? Like, no, listen, we're trying to help you. Your business actually work. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the same boat, we're trying to <laughs> keep the employees employed. <laughs> That's done by keeping you around. The only weird part is when you end up with two unions like the Deutsche Bahn and that just gets really funny business. I can tell you that one isn't fun and you very much do not like unions after that dealing with that nonsense that we've been dealing with for the past half a year because a union wants to be completely unreasonable and has to effectively justify its existence over the other one so that's fun I mean, the funny thing also with unions in Germany is that, like, there's um, EG Metall, for example, the um, manufacturing of the major manufacturing, one that deals with manufacturing, 
they basically negotiate with like a union of employers. <laughs> like this is like the company's actually negotiating. They're, they're negotiating with a gr with the union of employers, which is depending on the region, but usually suit metal. Suit vest metal. That's the union of actually the employers which are doing then negotiating with each other to streamline the entire process <laughs> right but yeah let's get off that topic um cheese crackers with hot sauce oh yeah, that sounds like an unhealthy dinner but I guess <laughs> it's a pick <laughs> it, uh Most fun the launch life of the GT Force. Yeah, that might be interesting. Um, GT Force. I haven't actually gotten around trying them, but on the other hand, it's uh, the customer might not like it that I have a mechanical keyboard so sitting at my desk. Uh, that's a mouse, uh, but you only live once. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um, YouTube video and website of stream group that I a procedural 24 7 music if you want. Not part of a union. Yeah, I mean, I'm not employed right now, so it's like, I hope for showers. <laughs> not employed currently, so yeah, there's that as well. I'm not a neat. But like, there was definitely phases where like I was a neat ball but in name. I mean, I'm still bothering on that. Three laps of fuel still remaining, so like we actually have some distance still to do. I I, I fulfilled the car before the st start of the stint, so it's like yeah, there's a reason why we're not. Like, we never eat healthy. <laughs> you see. I guess I don't see. I mean, you probably get some nutri you get calories as a nutritional value out of them, but like, you know, look at those of like this is just like a full meal. You know, it's especially in my region of Germany, they would definitely say is this was shades. We just roughly translate this to like something real. <laughs> Real, formal, shade translates roughly to those concepts like dress, um, see was gescheit an, so dr dress, um, properly, properly is the actual translation of that word. Um, <laughs> so like, <laughs> you would very much be criticized for those, but, uh, for choices for this thing, like, this is not something normal, like, it's just. The classic of take some Italian pasta and then put gravy on it. <laughs> hey, the funny thing is, definitely with my family, is like how much Italian pasta we would like consume despite that we're not Italian. But we're also committing like uh, grave sins in terms of like, you know, eating some of gravy and stuff because that, that's the stuff we have like around. It's only spaghetti that we like, you know. Eat with tomato sauce or like fry them in the pan. Oh, we first cook them and then fry them with eggs. We have a puncture? Huh? Yeah, we do have like low pressure on the rear, right? 25.3. I didn't expect that. I mean, it's not like the end of the world. We're gonna continue on. But like I didn't do anything really special to fancy stuff, yeah. Kind of got 
got a bunch of messages. This needs not much room to respond for the next section. Uh, you say slow key over there. I see. Uh, I'm in computer science, so like, <laughs> there is that. I will not go into my, my educational history. We will not. I don't want to talk about it. It's not pretty. It's still not pretty. I'm trying to pull myself back together. Well, I mean, I've, I think I never was together, but like... <laughs> maybe I can finally become a tad bit normal. I mean, it doesn't help to do, do like, strange, like, cat driven cars around the circle, but you know, we're, we're getting there. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why everything with me is like somewhat chaotic. There are no waiting rooms up in anything. But yeah, let's... I'm also like not young, particularly. Um, I'm not old either, so Jesus, my chat has gone like light speed. Okay. Overheat, maybe? Not really. I mean, the conditions are not really hot. They have probably risen since. It, yeah, they, they they rose by two degrees. But I mean, you can read the temperature still on chat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, younger than me, like not by much. <laughs> Considering my position, it's like it's, it's not by much. It does hit you a bit. But because I don't have anything. Like, you did ask about bachelor last time. So I did switch between, um, have to transition from one um, computer science related course to the other one. Because of issues related to that. Um, but I'm still doing the bachelor. Hopefully I can sort of complete that in the next, like, maybe year and a half? Wouldn't be impossible. But yeah, the problem is I don't have anything for, like, the last few years. And that's the thing. Oh yeah, it's not good essentialism, right? You know, let's get the heavy air out of here. Look at look at all the lights. Look at the sun here. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Although it does remind me of the meme of like <laughs> oh, the the, the Toho meme with um with her being told to like I'm, I'm the pr depressed uh, as like and go outside I was like oh look it's pretty and I'm still depressed <laughs> it's like so pretty I'm and I'm depressed <laughs> like yeah it's, it's I mean it's at least something you know? <laughs> but still feel like shit but like <laughs> at least you feel like shit was <laughs> well you're looking at pretty things <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I think she says something else in the meme. <laughs> I mean, I didn't get age restricted from my Trackmania stream, so like, I'm, I'm still surprised by that one. Considering other streams have gotten age restricted, but I'm definitely not the willingness to discuss that topic in that depth. <laughs> But uh, using the pressures for the youth business. <laughs> well, it's not quite a youth business, actually. <laughs> so, look at some of here. Is it the god rays? The thing is, there's no god rays. I, I think this is in part because of my uh, running in VR and like. I mean, I can literally look at the sun straight up and um, 
I'm not getting blinded. <laughs> Which, for example, Art Factor 2 does is even better than this. On the other hand, you know, you can drive in the sunrise and don't get blinded, which is, you know, probably an advantage. <laughs> in terms of competition, better. In terms of realism and graphics, not quite. But, like, you know, <laughs> sometimes I take this small L. It's not like that I've raced in these conditions um, that often. I mean, it's beautiful, but, like, most series don't schedule their events for these times. Like, occasionally you have, a, like, a sunset race. But oftentimes, you know, the scenery in ACC covers up the sunset, so it's like you, you don't even notice it that much. So I, I think I'm gonna have to drive the next two laps still if I don't crash out all of a sudden. Which you know, th this is what I I said. Like I struggled with, um, I, I crashed out a few times when I loaded onto this track early on the stream. Loaded onto the track. I had multiple accidents with the car. I was like, this is unusual. Like, I don't crash usually. I'm like, yeah, I don't crash usually. Here it is. I kept driving normally now. <laughs> I can drive the circuit consistently. I mean, I'm not going too fast. I'm doing 23s and a 53 count. It's not great. <laughs> and just about 23s. It's nearly 24s. <laughs> At this point, but like. Yeah, it does work, the car that drives. And I'm not crashing constantly, so it's like... The thing is, I don't know if I actually completed the um, track medals yet. This might help me, actually. Although... I'm probably too sideways, and um, yeah, that, that's definitely gonna interrupt any track metal streak. And there's an invalidated lap, even. Because I definitely invalidated a few laps, so I don't think I've actually gotta get the track the, the track medal here. <laughs> I haven't checked what status, I don't have it in my um, health right now. I don't know if I have to do four laps in the circuit, but probably still, you know, it doesn't make sense, even though this takes, like, you know, literally 24 minutes if you don't make a mistake. Actually, no, I'm, I'm stupid. It's 32 minutes. I... Math. I, di I didn't math properly. Yeah, it's more li and it's more like 34 minutes, actually. And it is without making a mistake, you know? If you do a mistake on the last lap... <laughs> make that to now. <laughs> uh, that's just pure pain. The problem is, you might even like... If you do a mistake too late in the stint, you, you have to immediately reset to the pits. Because um, you can't actually... Because you're restricted to 8 laps of fuel, and I don't think it actually lets you get away with doing a pit stop in your 4-lap uh, stint. So... About losing the streak, so... You know, there's that. Come on. Yeah, maybe another time we're gonna try the circuit uh, with GD4s. Okay, but uh, what I do need to definitely do is um, work on the uh, my overlay plugin because the standings plugin does not work with this track right now. Don't know why, but it doesn't. Or at least it didn't. I don't know if it suddenly decided to work, but like. You know, you're probably not seeing me on the standings at all either. I mean, I'm doing single player, so it's not like you're gonna see much. Besides, actually, my lap time, my fastest. That's it. 
That's all you're gonna see there. So like you're not missing out. The relative in the top right isn't... You know, it can't display to any car in front, so it would just display me. My car number. So yeah, there's not much it would display. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, this is the experience sort of you do get occasionally in 24 hour races as well. Where you're just stuck there doing your laps. This track is a bit strange when you do 24 hour races compared to other tracks. Because, you know, it's just 8 laps, assistant, right? It's just eight laps, and it's like... So it feels both like nothing, basically, in eight lap set. And I, I, now off driving, but also like a lot, because like it's obviously a relatively demanding circuit. <laughs> Glow through the trees there. <laughs> Alright, there's some other stuff that needs to be worked on. I for some of the plugin and then also the zip up replacement needs more work on. That definitely needs some work. I mean I should have used my break in university to actually do work on that. Doing like two commits on it, not really much. And probably more work in the winter break. Because yeah, in Germany right now, they, it's still right now break, semester break. It's just finishing up, it's next week, it's going back to schedule. Scheduled lectures. Have relatively long breaks for like a few weeks, like one and a half months. But in the middle of those breaks are all the finals. Like they did just spread throughout. I had like still some exams last week. So yeah. I'm gonna need to retake some of them next semester because I failed them. But like luckily I did pass math, which is like the, the important one. And I finally got through. So yeah. Finally beat that one. Well, tricky, but like I got through it, and uh, I'm gonna have to actually figure out how to study. Well, there are definitely issues, but like, no, no, stop, 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 Lucas, stop being so negative again. Don't go into the negative spiral again. Stop it now. We're not doing negativity here again. I'll drive the circuit one more time. And then you tie up the stream. And tell people that you maybe want to try to do more streams this week, but you probably don't. But like, I really don't care about that part. I'm hanging out by. Okay. I'll then see you around. So look at this cute. No! <laughs> no! By the law of the cute, I am illegally obliged to uh, deny this claim. It's factually inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> right. We have 17 liters heading onto the last lap, despite having done the formation lap and all. But it's technically not enough fuel that you can, you know, do nine laps. I mean, technically, you could perhaps do some fuel saving to stretch the nine laps. But I think even with the championship that we're um, that we're gonna sign up for the 12 hours. They have 65 minutes stint timer. 
Which is a bit of an issue on the Nordschleife because I think we are... It, it's tight for doing actually 8 laps on a stint then. I think time-wise that's not possible. Because um, even if you do 8 minute lap times, right? 8 minutes to the dot. Um, that's 64 minutes to do um, 8 laps. Right, 64 minutes. But no one does 8 minutes to the dot, especially in race spin. From, like even the aliens don't do that. So, you know, um, I won't be... <laughs> so we, we, we're gonna do actually 7 laps in a stint. Except if they increase, you know, the stint timer, which they totally could. Like, they could just bump it up to 15 minutes and, like, um, by, like, 10 minutes up and, like, would be fine. But, like, no one could do then uh, a 9 lap from fuel saving. <laughs> which is, like, the, the, the hilarious strategy quirk that you could totally do. But then again, you don't lose that much time in this pit lane, so it's like, you know... Is it worth it? <laughs> okay, we're getting pressure loss now officially in the front, right? 24 hours of fires, let's go. Yeah, that's the intention. Um, 24 hour race in June. That's in the same championship that we're trying to enter for the um, 12 hour race next week. This weekend, I don't really have anything planned. I'm thinking of entering a two-hour race on um, Sunday night, um, 2 a.m. time. <laughs> but it's more like Saturday night for the Americans, with which I'm racing. But like it's it's 2 a.m. my time. Thinking of doing that because I have time for that. But like, um, as a one-off Nordschleife event, just for, for additional practice and stuff, you know. Getting more track mileage. The, compared to a lot of people competing, driving probably in ACC, I have driven the circuit like. I'm definitely in the 100 lap club on the circuit. I don't think I'm in the 1000, but like, like with most circuits, I'm definitely in the 1000 lap club. I'm definitely in the 100 one. I, I, I mean, there's a lot of bumps that are different compared to the Alpha Factor 2 version, or at least as I remember. It's been a while since I drove it in Alpha Factor 2 either. There's a funny quote I've um, made where it's like, Yeah, I do remember my car actually being able to take Schweden cards nearly flat. Which, especially pre-setup adjustments, this car... Some of the cars, if you load some... Um, GP circuits set, um, min max setups, the you get utterly airborne over that crest and the car will not come down again. So you understand completely off. So I was like, huh, that's. It's like I'm used to still to the Alpha Factor 2 line over that crest, where you can take that corner basically flat. Not quite, but basically flat train cards. And for. I was like. You know, maybe I'm still used to the Alpha Factor 2 line. I'm like, I, I did the same comment. I say, well, it's probably been two and a half years since I've actually driven the circuit on Alpha Factor 2. <laughs> so, go figure on that one. I might have driven it in between on um, AC. Not sure. Maybe. But probably also not... Actually, I have driven it with GT3 cars. Come to think of it, I've actually driven this circuit on AC with GT3s. But this is also with the old GT3s that are on AC. So they also like understeer like dogs, usually. But I've actually driven it because I was preparing last year for doing a 24 hour race on the circuit. We ended up not in the end signing up for it because uh, my teammates hadn't done the mandatory laps either yet. And we Basically, the entry fell apart. Like, we had drugs. It was the usual affair in um, Iris. Like, posts and events. We have like 15 people who were interested in it. 
come to actually try to put the entry together and everything, there's like two people interested left over. If I put uh, anything out, no one cares. So that's like one of the reasons why I've decided to spin up my own team. You know, despite that literally I've done this in the past and like, but like this has not worked back then. Let's try this again, you know? The definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again. <laughs> Expecting things to change. So let's do it again. <laughs> I mean, I at least have Jordan. J Jordan's a good guy, I'd like. Hopefully that's the help I need. Oh god, that, that's the thing that I've been trying to avoid. The blowover issue that is more akin to R Factor 2 LMP2 cows and not like, you know, JT Freeze. They shouldn't bl nearly blow over over that crest. Oh god, my lines are also like not great at this point anymore. Oh yeah, pace drop off is quite bad. Well, I mean, that's also like roughly in line with the affected supervision. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna come in, obviously. The end of this lap. I mean, I could theoretically do the in lap on the GP circuit and time this lap, but like we could also just do a regular pit entry. Although there's a bunch of styrofoam in the way. Like, this is clearly in qualifying and practice not intended that you actually do the the correct pin tree. So yeah, we've, we've completed actually a full 8 lap set. We might have invalidated a few times, but like, you know, we've, we've still did it. So it counts. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, you do need to break very early for this pit entry. So it's it's earlier than I think the GP circuit. Um, it's pit speed limit. Right. Okay. Now. So there's my pit box. I'm just gonna do repairs briefly. It's just 1.2 seconds. I'm not even taking fuel right now. I just want to keep the tires on the car. Uh, let's return to the garage. Dozen times here. On the GP or the, um, the GP circuit or the Nordschleife variant? Because both are like relatively easy. should have drank more. I mean, we have one big... Sh oh, I'm just noticing something. You know. Um, the ACC map does show the track having multiple sectors here. Like, the ACC map actually has the sector splits all the way they technically are. We have a sector split down at um, the Dunlop hairpin. We have one at the end of the GP circuit. And we have one af um, before Flugplatz. Um... And then one after Flugplatz um, at heading towards Schwedenkreuz. Then the next one is um, down at um, after the bridge at Exmühle. Um, then halfway up to Mutkurve is one. And then the last one is um, coming out of Galgenkopf onto Döttinger Höhe. With another split then, um, just before Antonius Bucher. Um, so yeah, the, the, those sectors are actually drawn in, but I think the timing is actually taken from um, different sectors. Because if I look here at the lap times, we have only three sectors still, so... I guess the game will still use some of, some of the sectors to actually time where you are. So that's funny. Um... 
I think the Notch Life is gonna catch even more people out because you need to break before the barrier starts. <laughs> Because I, I'm not sure I actually was in pit speed limit there. So you notice I've done like so long laps that like my replay doesn't even go fast by now back. Right. Uh, so where's my pin entry here? Right, maybe we need to go on boards. So we can tell actually. Uh, 70. Uh, it would be tight. You can sort of cheese it to some extent, but like I think this is just too much, probably. 70, 60, 60 at the sign. But then we're under 50 before the rear wheels cross the line. And I think usually you can get away with that, sort of. I infamously, um, <laughs> infamously when I won my Porsche Cup Championship, I nearly sped into the pit lane, similar to this. But I just about got away in a similar way where, like, I hit the pit speed limit just after the front of my car had crossed. Um, I, I dipped underneath the pit speed limit just as, my, um, just like the line was hitting the halfway point of my car. Like, I was definitely not on the line, but, like, I was a bit before my car completely cleared it, it was under the pit speed limit, so I was good. And I was like, that, that was a Watkins Glen, so like, I used the entire width of the pit lane there to to get away with it. Right. That's like sort of the level of trickery occasionally employed. Right, so what do we have here? Tire set 5 was the one I ran on. No graining, no blisters, no flat spots. But I mean, we do have, it told us that there's punctures on the right hand side. Otherwise, I don't see really anything. They are, they probably need more pressure. That's probably the answer to the question. Because there's more wear on the left side. Not by much in some ways. But I mean, actually the front right inside has, no, no, they, they, they're relatively similar. It's slightly more, but like very minimally more wear. I mean, Yes, it is technically a, what is this here? It's a clockwise circuit, but there's so many corners that there's obviously not really a clockwise bias going on to the tires. And that's also reflected in the pressures. It's it's very even between the two sides. Yeah, I mean, the, the, that Porsche Cup championship was also like decided by the fastest lap point, I might add. I won that with a fastest lap point, and only because I finished second with while holding the fastest lap. Otherwise, I would have not won the championship. So if I had gotten pit speeding, um, I would have literally lost the championship. It was that tight, <laughs> genuinely. So that's like impressive of an issue. <laughs> oh, th that that was something of a championship. It was literally decided by a, a fastest lap point. <laughs> because both of us had won or, uh, two races and both of us had finished to, uh, second twice. It it was uh, genuinely something. And I had w gotten one fastest lap at Bathurst when I won. And he had gotten a fastest lap at Indy when I won as well. And he had won at um, Barcelona in the first round. Where I finished second but like a third driver got uh, the fastest lap. So it was just uh, duking out for... Racing VTuber clips, I see you, Mentrix. <laughs> I see you've uh, you've turned up here. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're wrapping up, so... Um, if you want to find the Spinellas, uh, you, you won't find them right now. <laughs> I've been live now for... Uh, three and a half hours. You know, and the race finished about... Uh, over two and a half ago at this point. Not quite free, but like, you know, it, it's been a while since actually the race that I attended in uh, finished, so... <laughs> yeah, go figure. We've done some practice for Nords, um... Contributing a bit to the car decision, perhaps, and, um, yeah, there's that. Right. So... Do we have anything else interesting going on right there? Uh, I mean, they haven't replied to my question in that Discord. 
There's a stream alert from, um... Fembo Race Queen. Um, I mean, if I was on Twitch, I would, you know, send you raiding um, into Frisky Frankie. But, like, A, um, I'm not on Twitch, um, so I can't raid onto Twitch. And B, I can't raid on YouTube because uh, <laughs> that's restricted to people with over a thousand subscriptions. So, you know. So, uh, I can't even raid at all. <laughs> LFMC, uh, fuck six rocket. <laughs> you know, I at least knew it was you, so it's not like, you know. <laughs> if, you, if you had sent the spin ally and uh, resulted in me dying, that would have been funny. <laughs> you know, we, we, we summon not men tricks <laughs> to spin ally me. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I had my incidents actually in the stream, but like, it's. it's it, I don't think there's anything clever worth it. I should actually submit some stuff to you. Once in a while. Because it's probably a decent contribution to the collection. And I mean, I make mistakes from time to time. Uh, I didn't mention early on stream, I'm not a big fan of LFM. Uh, but I mean, that was when still, uh, I was finding <laughs> still the race. <laughs> oh yeah, it turns actually out you don't need a, um... You just need the rookie license for doing the 24 hour race. Uh, what is that? The Nurburgring? That's the, uh, the, oh, that's the special events. That's, uh, for off-season stuff. Um, for the, oh yeah, for the, um, 505 Games X, LFM, and uh, Nords, that's E1 license. Um, and I have B3, so I should be fine on license. Wait. Wait, but it tells me here that it's like rookie minimum license. I guess you need a. That's a bit confusing. They they demand on one hand a rookie license as minimum. Um, but like that's your obviously driving license. They they've split the safety license, and driving license, which makes it confusing. Uh, so you need an F license. Uh, you need F license for doing the um, weekly races right now. But like the, you need E one if you want to do the um, Nords event. Well, the funny thing is, you already have E one basically by default if you um, do your um, if you do your five laps on the uh, ninety five SR server. If I remember, if it's still done that way, because back in the day, if you did your license on the uh, they, they had to use the license server a 75 and a 95, and if you did it on a 95, you get automatically um, 3.5 safety rating. Um, and if you did it on the other one, you get 1.5. Um, and with this way, you actually uh, would shortcut this. Uh, you would have enough license immediately. And um, if you do any, you know, leak racing like I do, especially multi-class, <laughs> and you drive the lower class, um, yeah, I, I basically, as soon as I do the started doing... I mean, I struggled with actually SR before I started leak racing in ACC. Uh, like, you can't really grind SR. You can only get up to, like, 70 SR in single player before the AI starts um, mugging you off it. But if you do it uh, in... If you do actually leak events, you basically... Especially um, ones that are long enough with, like... Uh, multi-class helps because you have regularly cars around you that lap you. You very quickly go up, you just get immediately 99, basically. <laughs> like, it's like two events and you're at 99, basically. It's just like... Okay, they bumped it up slightly. Uh, which is a bit annoying because, as I said, like, you can't even... If, if you're not doing leak racing, it's, it's actually really difficult to get up to, uh, above 70, kind of. Like, the AI, it basically keeps you at 70, because they, they keep crashing into you, basically. But if you do, um, in public lobbies, it's like, you know, public lobbies. They actually kind of work, but, like, yeah, that's a bit of a gamble at times. But, I mean, for me, it's like, I'm at max rank, and it's like, at 99, and it's like, it was like, it's like it will not really deviate much more down than, like, at most two or three points. Because I just do distance enough, right? Yeah, there's that event. Uh, right now. 
They do have GT2 and M2 multi-class, so that's interesting, I guess. I won't happen in, uh, um, what, 15 minutes. They would have a GT2 event at Solder. Uh, they have a mixed cup with GT3, GT4 unranked. Which is a session live right now, the next one in two hours. And then the DLC special with the next one also in about two hours. What can you actually sign up with these right now? Uh, TCX, GT4, GT3, and GT2, all of them. Nice. Nice. You. And, uh, 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 yeah, also Porsche Cup. You can even sign up with the old one. In case you hit yourself. <laughs> In case you hit yourself, you, you, you could do that already. So do I recommend it? No. <laughs> to get over 80? Yeah. Yeah, that that's my point. It's like, um, I wouldn't say it takes over 40. But, like, I, I did put, like, a decent chunk of hours into, like, I think when I started leak racing in ACC, I had about 15 hours in the game. When I like, actually started properly leak racing, I was faffing around before that's a bit more. Just, just, I, I was having issues with my GPU a bit. <laughs> if there was an issue in the AMD driver when you were running VR, it would randomly just clock the GPU down to 500 megahertz instead of 2 gigahertz. You can imagine the frame rate is suffering a tiny bit about that. <laughs> And it would just happen randomly. And it's like, it, you can't re reproduce it outside of VR. It's like really weird. And then they released the update finally and it fixed it. And I've not had really any issues with the... I had issues a bit more with the GPU drivers on AMD. Um, I am running the Pro drivers for like a while now. Because I was doing some stuff in... um, What's it called? Oh, what is the software called? Um... DaVinci Resolve, yes. I, I wanted to edit in DaVinci Resolve, but DaVinci Resolve was just constantly crashing on me. And um, that demand, uh, and installing the Pro Driver fixed that problem. So yeah, I, I'm running the Pro Driver and I've been wa for a while. And then obviously it, it does make my life quite easy because um, on Linux I have not had any drivers issues, so that's that's great. <laughs> Although maybe I'm having drivers issues because I can't run. Um, can't run VR with Wayland, so that that's that's fun. But X11, I can run VR. It just sucks, but like <laughs> it runs on the X11, I guess. <laughs> and now I've lost anyone who doesn't understand Linux <laughs> with those two comments. <laughs> oh, works in 2D mode. Oh, ouch. That that's not fun. Yeah, mine is just fine in that sense. I've had it now for like, gosh, I bought it in early 2021, the GPU. So I've had this like for a few, few years now. This RX 6100, it's been doing a good job. Right. But yeah, um, I don't have any events I'm signed up beside, um till next week. I'm My next event on SimGrid is literally the opera racing uh, events that I raced here today. I do want to do more streams, definitely. I, I would like to use a bit more of my break before we we'll go back to uni and stuff. And it might not be quite available in evenings and anymore. Just being busy doing assignments and stuff. Although the first few weeks are probably not going to be too bad. But we shall see. Um, I'm going to do... And I was like throwing around some of the North Life events. Oh yeah, this event has already happened. That's the North Life dating event. That, <laughs> that was uh, literally on Tuesday. So it, yeah, that's like happened. <laughs> that's like a past already one. Um, I will check if what I will do. Yeah, no, 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 I don't want to play that video. I have way too many tabs open with videos, but the difference is I, I still use this browser on Windows and I'm like... Never heard of them. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I, I am a Linux user. 
I, I definitely want to do perhaps the more uh, another link stream in between. I, I wanted to do the update for um, Night Runners, but like haven't gotten around to actually to um, play playing it. Wanted to stream perhaps and then uh, Saturday, but like um, then got carried away with I think making a livery for the Sunday race with V4H. They're doing also a race this weekend, but like um, it's it's bad time slot again, and like I don't think I will do it. Um, but yeah, I might do the, obviously the Sunday race. Um, well, Saturday to Sunday race at two a.m. Central European time. So like, you know, it would be the equivalent of in an hour forty-five, roughly, if I have my math right. But yeah, it's it's um, fifteen minutes past midnight right now, so you know, it's starting to be time for me to also perhaps call it a night. And maybe wrap up the stream for that as well. Also, I do hate quite the loop your side, right? But yeah, uh, yeah, I didn't get into my rant about Lothian motorsports. I, I, I've, I barely have raced on them. I, I mean, I'm not terribly licensed, although my, my license is a B3 Bronze Plus. But like, I have rating, rating enough for a gold license. <laughs> so, <laughs> there is that. <laughs> Well, I, I f no, 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 I'm not quite a, um, good enough for gold license. I'm sitting at 2,408 rating, and you need for gold license 2,500 rating. I see, but I would be a high silver plus license driver if I had done more than 25 ranked races. I have done 19 ranked races. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit too few. I have scored three wins, uh, seven p podiums, uh, four on ranked races, and... Uh, yeah, why is it in brackets some of these values? Because like Because I've done nine, but like in brackets two. Was that the non ranked it's like it's confusing here because I have like seven Like I've done only two non ranked races. It's like <laughs> what are the numbers then in the brackets for podiums, top fives and top tens then? Statistic anyway. I have one pole position. <laughs> but yeah, I have not played the service at all much. I mean, the most I've played was probably pre 1.9 Bob, because I actually have like lap times for like um, one, two, three, four, five cars uh, on. In GT3 at least. And there's like... Uh... Okay, there's a bunch of GT4. I've done quite a bit of GT4 back in the day on um, LFM. Uh, but obviously it doesn't get much love and like... Uh... Uh, hello, Burn Show, how are you doing? Um, I'm, I'm still wrapping up things. <laughs> I have no doubt to my LFM statistics. But yeah, I... I've uh, genuinely... When was my last event attended? Uh, hello, would you kindly list my events, or... Is it in season races? Yeah, it's in season races, okay, I can find mine. Um, yeah, the last race I ran was in January. January 2nd, off-season race at Kailami with the McLaren 570S. Okay. Then the race before that is... Wednesday, August 23rd! Also in the GT4s, uh, McLaren 720S, that was an actually in-season event at Brands. Started 5th, finished 2nd in that one. Um, I've done M2 Cup back in May 2023. With the M2, obviously, and Hangover Ring. I've done then... Um, I've driven at in April 25th. Um, the Maserati MC4 GT4 at Suzuka. And then um, my fifth most recent race is again M2 Cup at Circuit de Catalunya, uh, also April 25th. So yeah, <laughs> 2023. So like, if I could go this far back into the past <laughs> to find my the last five races in LFM, you can tell that I've not done much LFM. No, y yeah, B Lip. You missed me telling you that there was only one race. That I was just doing practice after it. 
I, I guess you said, oh yeah, you, you, um, I guess you probably said that you're gonna, um, uh, hopefully be back to race, oh, what, what did you say actually? Let, let's check. <laughs> Let me actually scroll through the chat because I'm not, you know. No book, you asked that question. Uh, I did answer that one. Well, I think that was your last question, but you, I guess, skipped again over me literally answering you. This doesn't like you, and uh, now your works for step and, uh. Yeah, um, oh yeah, while it's lagging again, I might not be able to watch the second race. There was no second race. You probably lagged again over me saying there was never a second race. There was one. <laughs> And by the time you turned up for the stream, um, it had already been done by like two hours. Probably gonna miss race two. There was never a race two, that's my entire point. Because there was never one. I just did practice there for the last three hours. <laughs> for the last three hours I did practice here. That was the entire thing. Uh, yeah, the, the stream started. We're nearly four hours in right now. <laughs> So, um, and the race probably finished about under an hour into the stream, so... I hate trains. <laughs> <laughs> I like trains! <laughs> <laughs> Internet sucks there. It's funny because, you know... Uh, <laughs> I mean, probably live streams would suck ass actually watching on the train, you know? Gotta genuinely admit that, but like... Um... I do like, I have actually done on train uh, rides back home, I've VPNed into my home network and then watched uh, videos on my jelly for instance. I've done that. <laughs> I've actually watched anime on my way home from my jelly for, streamed it from my jelly at home. Through a VPN connection. <laughs> That's like, big brain. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, more for more for needs. I mean, the model has a tail and everything. Uh, to telecom experience. <laughs> I mean, that, that that's actually um, functional, right? One of the funny things is actually uh, my... Um, I did get a message from... Um, uh, back when I, like, um, set up Thunderbird for the first time and, like, was running... I uh, was logging into my laptop on the train. Um, Thunderbird, it's caused my... Uh, my Outlook account to basically get flagged for um, that it could be compromised because there, there's a login from a foreign location and then I've realized like, oh yeah, the train is basically um, the all the internet connections from the train train Wi-Fi hotspot go through Berlin, and it got like it obviously was like hold on you you were down here like hey, how the fuck are you up here now? <laughs> so I was like, huh. <laughs> Uh, which, if I had just turned the VPN on per default, um, that, that would have not been an issue. But uh, the thing is, I usually I have to log in, obviously, into the Wi-Fi, and then I can turn my VPN on and just um, not have issues. Train seeing me watching a VPN. <laughs> there is worse, like watching... <laughs> I mean, watching Gushing Over Magical Girls would be worse. <laughs> Uh, but but actually, I did watch another HG show back in the day while riding on the train, and that is um, what was it called again? Uh, that is why are you here, Sensei? Or what are you do doing here, Sensei? Something along those lines was the name of that show, and that is um, you know it was quite censored in the uh, TV edition. I can uh, you have to say? Um, I definitely would not show this this anime on stream and I definitely do not suggest um, even the censored version the audio of it <laughs> <laughs> you, you do have to trust you um, why the hell are you here sensei uh, Nadeko ni, ni sensei ga <laughs> that one <laughs> yes <laughs> marrying we started together <laughs> ah yes uh, team moffa moffa <laughs> Team Moffa Moffa indeed. Uh, uh, I mean, I guess we'd be able to share some stuff. <laughs> yeah, I have mentioned this anime definitely a few times before. <laughs> I 
should. I, I mean, I've rewatched it once I, when I dubbed it, but like, damn, I should probably rewatch it again. It's it's really nice, but like, I should finish um, watching Freeran and watching. Uh, I mean, a bunch of other anime so I'm, uh, not, But like, I've dumped Freeran. I'm, I'm I've started watching it, and I wanna dump um, Gushing of Magical Girls. I definitely wanna watch that one. I've seen the first episode now of it. <laughs> So yeah, um, dump, um, gushing over magical girls is is definitely a thing. Uh, but you know, I could, I guess, show share actually my Discord invites. Uh, but did Jordan leave Team Iris? Uh, because Team Iris left Jordan. <laughs> 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 Big brain moment for that reason. <laughs> It, genuinely, I'm I'm still slightly confused over, but, but like basically, he doesn't want a team. Iris is not an ACC team. Let's be very real about that. Um, the last ACC event team Iris has done, excluding V Track, obviously, has been uh, in January. I have been technically the first baton to actually do an event uh, recently, but like yeah. I was after I actually did this, so like, you know, there's just no momentum whatsoever behind Team Iris in terms of ACC. And like, I can't really do changes. I mean, even if I ask to be promoted to manager role, no one cares. And this is sort of also a problem that Team Iris has now hit because everyone was look uh, listening to Tom, and uh, not to Tom, to Loik. Loik was the manager everybody approached. Even though Ton was technically a manager at the same time, but Loic has stepped down now as well, so it's only Ton now. <laughs> and this is gonna get funny at that point. Yeah, it, 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 I don't think it's a reason. Yeah. Technically, there's an entire section for ACC, and technically, the team also competed in the iRacing um, 12 Hours of Sebring. We had a, f a few guys enter, and I think even under Irish Colors, so it's like. Uh, we probably have a more active iRacing team than an ACC team, so it's like, you know, I'm technically still gonna be a member right now of Team Iris. I'm not gonna disappear quite, but like, I'm probably gonna become an inactive member of Iris at this point, right? Like, so many others have. <laughs> it's, it's like, uh, so an Iris is exactly. This is a shame. <laughs> yeah, um,. Right, but um, I guess I technically could share the invite because I mean there, there is technically a Discord server. I'm still working on a bot that can share whenever I'm going live. I would like that to be finished, but it isn't. <laughs> and I guess I need to bang my head into a wall for another day or so to uh, finish that project. It has. Um, I'm writing in Go, and I've not written much in Go. But when I tried to use the Google API through a um, Rust wrapper, it just... That didn't work at all, because the project is... You need to use an old version of Hyper, and I don't know Hyper, and it's like... It's, it's a mess. Okay, I, I'm not touch. I've tried it for, like, a bit, and, like, then I went, like, okay, I've got to use Go, and then, like, I... I ran my head into a wall with the API in general, so, like, it probably was a good idea to switch to Go, even if I don't know as much Go. Um... For my own reason, I'll explain in later date. <laughs> uh, I guess. Uh, I've been working on on GitHub. Yeah, uh, that's literally what I've been in part working on. I mean, some of the commits um, that I have... Because I did add a channel for, um, you know, GitHub activity. And also... Uh, not GitHub activity. That's, that's GitLab, by the way. Which uses the same... Uh, WebSocket, but the difference is that GitHub's um, GitHub, whenever it sends a message to the web hook, actually updates the profile picture and everything. But GitLab doesn't, <laughs> so GitLab doesn't do that. But yeah, the setup manager sits in GitLab. Um, so one of the things is definitely the Git the, the setup manager. I did. Uh, I think that's on the Git lock actually. My ACC. Uh, the ACC CSV to. Other thing 
that that's not in there. But um, it is a team more for more for Discord port, which um, is supposed to do the entire thing of you know retweeting, um, not retweeting, sorry, putting a message out whenever I'm going live. Because I'm like, I'm not gonna pay some stupid bot or like work with some stupid bot around. I'm just gonna write my own goddammit. I have a home server. I can just deploy this. This is not too hard. Me being like two days <laughs> going down a rabbit hole for the next two days. <laughs> Wait till I reappear at some point. <laughs> but yeah, there is that. I've been definitely doing, uh, be carried away with doing that shit instead of writing, you know, on my. Other project, data race, or doing repairing the um, my overlay plugin to work with the launch life because that's broken right. <laughs> Go figure. I've dug myself another project. <laughs> it do be like that usually, but yeah, we have that channel. The live channel is not working yet, so d d there's that. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. That's why I've been doing commits. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Okay. Um, yeah, I've I've <laughs> I've decided to throw my head for a brick wall. <laughs> but yeah, I think I might be able to put something to. I mean, I, it's just it's frustrating. I was so unproductive today because I probably would have been nearly finished with the damn thing if I had actually done more than one commit on the thing. But like, I distracted myself for way too long and slept in along. So that's those things didn't help. But th this should be done in a reasonable time frame, hopefully. Right. But I guess, as I said, uh, I, I, I can, I guess, put the, the link into the, the channel because I've... Uh, can I copy the link or is this just, you know, asking a bit too much? Of Discord, I, I guess it's asking a bit too much. I can just, I guess, mark it and then press Control c I guess I can just put it into the chat here and like just leave it there. That's fine. The intention is that it's like also as if it's public Discord with its own sections. Which yep. What? <laughs> okay, there it is. I was about to say that the link. <laughs> Probably the <laughs> <laughs> you do remind me of a clip from um, a whole life clip related with a Subaru. Um, she wanted to do something on her computer, but I don't quite know why. What? And she got like so far down the rabbit hole that she got to like some GitHub repo and like um, she needed to compile or something. So she asked Lua, Luna, not Lua, Luna, how to program. Which is like not the right question, but Luna was like, hold on a second, you're going off the path, beaten path, hold on, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Let me sort this for you. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna destroy all, all of us nano chats. <laughs> yes, the, the zero year old pr uh, small princess that um, also at the same time, um, you know, rides a Harley Davidson. One of the shortest members in... <laughs> In Hall of Life, JP. <laughs> What's so is This is a Harley Davidson owner. <laughs> so that's probably like one of the funniest quirks of Hall of Life lore that I, I know off the top of my head. Right. But yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna go live again. Um, except that I know that I have a race next week. Maybe I run, as I said, the. Uh, I think it's Pan Am that runs. Right. We've, 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 we've gone down the rabbit hole far enough that I, I can, you know, check out uh, where. Uh, the, the Pan Am Discord and it's, it's see what, what's happened uh, on there, right. Oh yeah, they, they cancelled their, uh, I, this was, yeah, this was scheduled for April 4th. Wait, April 4th? Oh, that's a bit confusing, uh, because it definitely wasn't scheduled April 4th. April 4th? April 5th and 6th. Oh, that was not scheduled over the weekend. Now that's an interesting one. I've just realized with the they had a Barcelona 24 hour that just didn't get signups at all. But I guess that the problem was because that literally wasn't scheduled for the weekend. Because that was scheduled from Friday to Saturday then. Now that's weird. No wonder they were struggling to find like a grid. 
if you just do stupid scheduling, then like, you, you do stupid scheduling, find out, I guess. That That's like a relatively simple way to do that. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that obviously doesn't work. Uh, yeah, Pan Am to our, uh, to our race. Let's see. When is it again? Um, that is, yes, uh, Sunday 2 a.m. as I said. I might do that. Um, that's GT3 on later, but like, um, sign up ASAP for a guarantee spot in the mini endurance event. Uh, if this, the uh, event start at 8 p.m. Eastern. That's their definition of the time. Uh, event timetable. Um, okay, we'll still go live. So um, at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, for one hour of practice, qualifying will be 20 minutes. Uh, join the Discord for full information. Um, da -da 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 uh, loud. Uh, steer the, da -da 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 all the, the user stuff. And it is also. Uh, but they don't have schedule on this. Let me just check. Um, is 8 p.m. Eastern actually 2 a.m. Uh, my time briefly? Let me just check that. I, I want to just see. God damn it! It's it's already resting like fucking things. I don't care. I don't care what Cairo, Moscow, or London time. I I want my Berlin, <laughs> <laughs> Berlin, Berlin. We far enough Berlin. Why is Berlin punk out an option even? But like, sure, if we don't care, like that that works as well for me. It's still the same time zone. <laughs> they don't have a time zone for that district, but like, sure. Um, and then we need EST. Eastern time. Um, and yeah, Eastern time, 2 a.m. is 8 p.m. Yes, then the qualifying actually starts at 3. So that's roughly when I probably will wake up. Muffa Muffa car on Sunday. I guess I'm gonna need to do an delivery. <laughs> I just left the Discord server for Waffa Waffa. Wait, you left one to join one? Do you have that many Discord servers that you need to leave Discord servers to join a Discord server? <laughs> what is going on there? <laughs> like... Like, what is going on there? Like, that's like... I could try making a livery. I guess that works as well. I mean, you did make um, the colored version of the logo. I mean, if you could send me that one over, that would be also nice. Hit the limit again. How many do you have? What is even the limit? Like, what is it? Genuinely. <laughs> like, how, how many do you have? <laughs> It's like, how many can you have at maximum? I mean, I have quite a few. It's like, what is the limit, genuinely? 100, oh, okay. I mean, then I'm probably like, let's check, how many Discord servers do I have? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, uh, 26, 27, 28. Okay, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. If I didn't miscount, like, that's roughly the, the number I have. Um, and, like, nearly 50% of them are, like, not even servers. Uh, 200 for Nitro users, I see. <laughs> I see how this gun is. Uh, tomorrow, I forgot to make a backup kick. I it's fine. Like, d don't panic. I was just generally asking for you to maybe someday deliver that. <laughs> we need to generally also make um, more channels internally for uh, stuffing, like, you know, stuff in there. Right, <laughs> it's like for putting like livery assets and stuff in there, right. Okay then, I will wrap things up, I will finally compile the um, ECC, um, the CSV to BOP tool on the Windows as well, so I can finally make the release. It's not like I did last night or like 
It's not like I'm like probably 36 hours since I like did the last commit on that one <laughs> and compiled the Linux version already. It's just the Windows version is waiting. So yeah. I see if I'm done with the bot tomorrow and then can finally um, stream again, perhaps. Or maybe I will just not, you know, we just work on the bot. Or maybe I'm just working on the bot on stream and just gamble with me exposing the... <laughs> with me exposing my Google credentials by accident. <laughs> like, <laughs> playing Russian roulette with, uh, with uh, six rounds in the chamber. <laughs> it's just... It's Seeing if I accidentally opened the wrong file. <laughs> uh, it stops. Yeah, that. I mean, I feel like. Uh, can you read the chat, um, Bealer, with like Frapskill saying that's like uh, in billing twenty seven. I, as I've said, I am in fifty five servers, so <laughs> I can kind of understand like a lot of them are like leaks that i've previously raced in but like i haven't raced in like a while in like i i, I do have a, everything from like i i have a uh, broken bones that i haven't raced in like a year rci qrc uh, boozer and um, bgtr sop black hornet um tdr um nazos uh I have DDF server. I have a couple of friends um, servers that haven't been active in years. I have rookie monsters. I have more server. <laughs> I have um, I have Aiden's uh, Discord server. Um, for the SimGrid server. I have a lot of leaks that are relatively active. Stuff the SLP. I've. I've Slim Hub, Trackalicious, uh, World United is actually also now in there. Um, Opera Racing, um, Track EU, and then there's a bunch of like other VTuber friends like Asa, um, uh, Soli, Soli, yes, Soli. Um, then the Foxbox Discord for, uh, what's it, what's his name, uh, Liv. We have a UK. I'm in technically also the UK. This good. Um, Frisky Frank. Um, UK. Uh, Yuki's Discord. Uh, Jordan's Discord. Frap. Discord. Is <laughs> uh, another friend Discord. Um, which name? Of, <laughs> okay, I will say the name. But it's it's Gold Stars and Degenerates. <laughs> no, that's called uh, some uh, VR chat community that definitely will not named. Um, Team Iris. My old team, where I still have some private channels in there that I use for data storage, so I, I can't delete that Discord server. <laughs> and then Team Morpha Morpha, which is a separate Discord server. We created a new one. Um, and then I have the Halo Archive. Uh, because I sourced the... Um, what's it called? the um, For Helldivers 2, the Helldiver armor. I sourced the model out of there. And then applied it to my VRChat model. So I have that there. So yeah. Buckshot roulette win. <laughs> we got to say one night. Um, yes, um, Patreon of Does It Play? Uh, c Computer Clan, uh, Manly Refuse, X. Uh, uh, Feed the Boss Track. Yeah, I'm still happy to be part of. Uh, yeah, part of my. Uh, you just discovered data storage. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, um, a lot of stuff in that channel is memes. I, I for a long time, like, just um, control seed uh, memes and just put, put them back into Discord when I'm on my PC. And only download them on my phone. I now actually download most memes onto my PC and then move them around out of my downloads folder. So there's a lot of memes in, still in there dating back to like 2020 or something. So like there is a lot of like probably longer. I like actually let me check, check that. And there's also like some links. Then I have a another channel that I use for like genuinely dumping like um <laughs> yeah in hentai links. Like I genuinely just straight up dump those links into there and then just um for later um downloading purposes. <laughs> <laughs> because yes, I do download the the, the, the um, six digit stuff because 
people have been seeing six digit stuff to getting purged, and I've seen it before the big purge happens. And I will not lo lose my, my good stuff. And I, I have quite a few that like do not exist anymore on there. So it's like I like my stuff to be saved. <laughs> On phones and PC, which... <laughs> I mean, there's probably a way better solution for data storage. The problem is that there's a bunch of legacy stuff in there that, like, needs to be badly need to be finally fucking downloaded. But, like, also, it is a genuinely hour-long process going to be to download and delete all of these back out of there. It is going to take me literal days, probably, to, to solve this problem. Like, I've basically fell uh, fell into such a debt at this point with this stuff that it's like, I, me digging myself out of it is, is gonna be a challenge and a half. I've dug myself into a hole that like I'm probably not being able to dig myself back out of. Private, old. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the first meme in this channel dates back to 2018. <laughs> and, I mean, the most recent stuff, probably, okay, 2019, more like when, when it really starts hitting the fan. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> okay, there, there, there's a reason why I still keep these memes around, because they're still fucking quality. I'm gonna send one of them into my, my, my new Discord server. <laughs> Just shit posting because it's like. <laughs> also, Jordan calls me out there. <laughs> yes, I, I immediately found that one. And that's. This is. Uh... And yeah, that dates in my channel back to. Uh... May 2019. <laughs> yes, I. Oh, there's the, the video of. Um... Huggy Buggies. <laughs> Ubu. Back off, you crazy bitch. <laughs> I'm not gonna play the audio of that one. Yeah, I have the video file there in there. I did for a long time also put GIFs in there because it can download more properly. But yeah, that's like 3,000 images in there. So that's, that's fun. More for more for colors, uh, local send. Um, do you give parts of archive? <laughs> yes, yes. My, my archive of especially off brand content is um, something. <laughs> the thing is, in terms of actually VTubers, I also have like a relatively decent archive. Uh, hold on. Because, um, I mean, obviously, my hentai folder is like relatively sizable on my NAS. Is I have not just this one folder. <laughs> the problem is I I need to for convenience. I occasionally start storing in other places as well before I upload. Uh, but the archive folder I have stuff from uh, multiple graduated VTubers. So uh, and that one also amasses to a whopping two hundred ninety eight gigabytes. Of um, videos, not much from Selen on Pomo, but like Pikame, Mika, Riroron, uh, and Urarushia. I have quite a few words of theirs individually. So, yeah, go figure. I have like the music usually of everyone, and then like just a bunch of like their, their especially debut streams and stuff like that. I'll have all of that stuff archived. So yeah. Oh yeah, it's still counting up by the way the the hint of all that I I, I didn't expect that to be done in like so it's like <laughs> the, the off show quality stuff. <laughs> There's a reason why I called it off brand. Oh yeah, it, it, okay it actually stopped counting now. It found all the files. It is uh forty one thousand nine hundred and twenty three files right now, four hundred and twenty four folders, and a whopping one hundred and fourteen gigabytes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There is a bit that I've collected that I want. I mean, we cannot actually check for like the uh, specifically for um, 
off-brand manga. Just how much is just the, um, the stuff that I've downloaded from Mainland Entire? 4.2 gigabytes with 7,500 files and 296 folders. So, uh, y yeah, and there's 296 folders is basically equivalent to the amount of dojins I have. <laughs> so, <laughs> good for you. I don't download everything, but I crawl it. <laughs> It's like, oh wait, um, <laughs> I've, I'm slightly confused which at which point I said my Discord server because my Discord server is the Madness server. That's still mine, right? But, like, the Morpho Morpho is ours. I don't know if I accidentally said that it's mine. I mean, I did say that I kind of want to use it as also mine, because I don't want to spam another Discord server for the purpose of having live notifications for me and stuff like that. So, yeah, that is kind of mine. But, like, for the purpose of just having, basically, a Discord server. Because I don't want the full my Discord server. Maybe that makes sense. Because I could have made one longer ago. So it looks like we've, I've just made this very awkward. Because <laughs> yeah, this is it's not mine, but like it, it is also my official Discord server. That is Buffa Buffa's Discord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are recreating the story of Facebook. Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean? It's, it's not mine, but like... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine doing the shittiest trick media map together. Y yeah, we could... I, I Let's see where we go because definitely I want to do more Trackmania stuff and like perhaps we're gonna uh, I, I might do put somewhere channel just to put my Trackmania tracks in there <laughs> You know, I might do that because I I have built like now quite a few and uh, I'm, I might want to show them off You know because I quite like them. I, I think I actually have at this point created some decent Trackmania mess You don't know the story of Facebook? No, I, I don't quite I know there was a MySpace before that and uh and Facebook was created for students, as far as I remember, specifically. Which is ironic, considering it's only used by um, people in retirement homes at this point. <laughs> I mean, people have aged in the in-between time. So the people that were in the early 2000s in high school are very much now, you know, Parents, <laughs> so <laughs> to mess with maps in the editor, you know, I'm pretty sure the GBX format for specifically United is relatively well understood, probably. So it is very likely that you could make write an editor that you could then, you know, um, I mean, people have written programs to procedurally generate maps. So, like, you could probably make an editor that allows you to um, edit in a external program, actually. the um, Create maps in an external program, and then you... <laughs> it's mostly for how it seems, though, but sort of a shared person server as well. Yeah, that... thank you, Jordan. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for helping me not dig my grave any deeper. Please don't kill me in the... after it's in the, the, the staff meeting. <laughs> <laughs> for the stupidity that I've done, well, like, yeah, 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 Th that is the point, that, and I don't have a personal Discord server because I don't feel like having one, <laughs> and I don't need to split my efforts any further. This can do both features, and we're gonna do both then, because <laughs> I need one for the team, and I might as well <laughs> just put my personal stuff also there. <laughs> win, win, win. I mean, that's technically kind of what the Foxbox does um, with um, 
Liv and um, Liv and uh, Foxfire sharing Discord server. It's just that uh, I think those people actually live together, <laughs> which is a slight difference. <laughs> As they live together, and then I think that there's actually a third one that's also in that group. Oh, dox me, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the technical advantage at that point would be that you technically wouldn't need to dox yourself because you could create maps under any name. That's neat. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I mean, you because you could just you know declare a map, and it would just work. You could also, like, forcibly, likely validate maps, which is not as funny. <laughs> oh, well, Mr. Friends, I see. I don't understand quite their relationship status, I, and I don't really care. This is not my business, and I will s s stay out of it. Uh, there's other drama that is also not my business, and I will probably stay out of it. It's, I mean, I did comment on it, so I should I need to prepare for perhaps, but like, there's some Twitter drama with the, the, the stupid blacklist bot. It's probably not a bot, there might be a person behind it, but like, you know, it might as well be a fucking bot. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, the person being put, the, the bot. The account is fucking stupid, but like the person being put there for public display this time around is, you know, it doesn't look good for the evidence is being shown there. It doesn't look good for them. If the screenshots are real, that is. <laughs> but like no one has doubted the screenshot real. Yeah, let's see. Only people said there's more context to it, like Victor and Liv, so. And we decide to do that uh, with cooking pot stuff. Yes. One thing after another. That is the important part. We don't... VTuber Blacklist. There, There's a... Um, an account on Twitter that's called VTuber Blacklist that... Uh, that has... Uh, that r posts stuff about uh, VTubers you probably don't want to interact with. Or, well, that's the intention. And, uh, I mean, I could open Twitter, and one of them was, uh, I think, someone who, um, some of us have actually interacted with through, uh, what's it? It's like, I, I saw Victor and, um, Liv post about it. Um, yeah, it was, uh, Whimsy. Whimsy. Um, she's been, um... She's been uh, put onto the blacklist um, as said. Uh, the VTuber blacklist, keep safe and informed, um, is the name of the account. And uh, she's been put on the list for doxing, apparently. The problem is the... Um, well, the evidence doesn't look great for her. <laughs> Let's be for real. It does not look good. But I... I... The account is still cringe, so like th that's gonna be my position. I do know enough, and I won't uh, talk any further about it. So, yeah, not the funnest, uh, I will say it was... Uh... <laughs> Amazingly. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, um, and the, uh, the screenshots do show that her trying to acquire a dox. Yeah, the, the, the screenshot you showing her of her trying at least to acquire docs and probably do acquire docs of um, SF FIFA ASMR. And it's like, you know, the problem is I have not seen doubts of the screenshot's legitimacy, so the blacklist account might be onto something, but the blacklist account is still fucking cringe, so like, let's leave it at that. <laughs> We're next race. As I literally said, I don't know. <laughs> well,. Technically, next race is going to be next week, um, this time. I mean, um, four and a half hours earlier <laughs> for the season final in Oprah Racing. Um, I don't have any other events I'm signed up. I really need to sign up for some GT3 racing for a normal sprint series. I really need one again. I don't have any. 
and opera racing is gonna even end next week as well so it's like i don't have any racing series at that point so i really badly need one but i i am definitely considering doing the sunday um on saturday to sunday a 2 a.m race at well 3 a.m race my time um at <laughs> 3 a.m. at racing my time, and um, what what is it? Uh, that is with um, Pan Am Racing. That's a Notch Life uh, um, Mini Enduro for two hours. So that's the the intention, right? Uh, but yeah, you reject Twitter return to uh, 2000s gaming. Yeah, and that's my enti entire thing. I've never needed to interact with that person, and I'm not caring. And if if I for some reason start interacting with that person, and I, I've probably forgotten at that point <laughs> that this entire thing happened. If like I feel like I can judge people well enough that I don't need fucking stupid blacklist that I want. It's there are some people that do stupid shit in the. the Fame grind in the VTuber community, but like I feel like very much confident enough to, to figure out who these people are because they probably do not pass the vibe check. <laughs> PCS X2, uh, what game? What game? Uh, hold on, uh, PCX2 GT2 4. <laughs> uh, yes, I could actually read this, you know, on the this is the funny thing right now. I, I have a window floating in front of me and it's like my browser in the background so I can read chat technically on the right hand side although my um, my Steam VR window thingy and uh, my mother overlays are still like slightly overlaying the chat. And then at the bottom I can actually read the message because the hard icon is further to the right so I can actually read the fucking messages underneath. Right. I prefer to be a micro influencer. <laughs> I guess I, 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 I'm a, I'm a niche influencer. My people need me. <laughs> this this post is making numbers. It is getting four likes. <laughs> I guess. Um, <laughs> did I pass the vibe check? Oh yes, you did. <laughs> you wouldn't be around if you didn't pass the vibe check. <laughs> so yeah. New cities web presence then oh good. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay, right. Um thing <laughs> dish. Ah yes. Until you suddenly get um, raided by a thirty two people <laughs> by thirty two people because you're the only one streaming Need for Speed World and the streamer suddenly realized Need for Speed World someone streaming Need for Speed World and decided to raid into you. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, that that happens. Uh, uh, I'll with chill with. Yes, I mean, that, that, that's also my stuff. And the more people and add more people to the friends group, that that's fine. But, like, you know, you, you, usually people recruit me into their friends group rather than the other way around. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm good enough in just disappearing again. And I'm not relevant enough that people randomly want to become my friends. So it's like, <laughs> you know, it has its good stuff, right? But yeah, but intention is maybe Sunday. But like the part of me putting the Discord link out is that I can, you know, share when I'm next gonna be live. That, that was the entire point, perhaps. That was the entire point. So I can um, actually do notifications when I'm going live. Maybe more reliable, but I mean the YouTube notifications seem to be actually reliable enough that people like Beelip, uh, Frap, and Jordan actually find me at the end of the day, despite me not tweeting it, despite me not doing any of these things. You guys still somehow come back to me, and I appreciate that, despite of my utter lack of actually sharing that I'm streaming. <laughs> somehow me yelling at the voice still gets people there, so like, y yeah, this this is good, <laughs> right? But I've been trying to wrap up for the last hour nearly now, and just rambling, stalling and stalling and stalling so hard that, like, God damn it, a lot, I would be impressed. Um, just, uh, oh, bad, bad, bad. Right. Purple helps out. Yeah, I guess that's that's true. <laughs> 
you uh, Discord rich presence saving my ass except when I stream on um except when I'm streaming on uh what's it called um Linux because it probably doesn't flag me on Linux because it um because it's sandboxed there yeah. so it can't show me live likely there yeah. <laughs> nice oh uh, yeah yeah uh, before we actually completely stall and uh I don't know the the other f term to refer to is like a turn into an airplane and stall from 3,000 meters down to the ground uh, 30,000 feet down to the ground because we're stupid pilots and we're stalling so hard um yeah let's 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 actually wrap this thing up maybe it doesn't <laughs> um maybe it does maybe it's less I don't know I haven't checked it actually <laughs> we shall see right but yeah, I will see if I'm gonna be live tomorrow or someday, uh, someday during the week. Maybe I'm gonna stream the race on su 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 Sunday night, uh, night from Sunday to Sunday, who knows. But I'm definitely gonna be back on Wednesday next week. So see you then. <laughs> Good night, bye bye, and maybe I'll do something in between. <laughs> 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 And maybe I put new fires on <laughs> and take a shower. <laughs>